Greetings and salutations, friends. Uh, excuse the slight delay. Sargon is off molesting a teapot as per usual, so we'll uh, we'll just talk a little bit first, and uh, he should be arriving fairly shortly, probably with tea in tow. If not, well, fuck. Then I guess we'll wait more, supposedly. <laughs> So there's there's one thing that I'd like to ask straight off. Um, v, what did your character end up being? If if V is here, V two is off making tea. Mm. Oh, I just heard him respond in the mild middle distance. Yeah. Um, his character is a bit. He he's a true believer. He's a Timish who has flesh shifted himself into the vision of a perfect Aryan. <laughs> and he's also heavy into the political thing, like political science and everything. So, you know, he could explain to you why uh, it is important to uh, exterminate the Untermensch. <laughs> That's actually pretty I good, yeah. I think he's stunning as well, so he'll, he'll make a good argument while looking really good. Does he actually have the ability True Faith? Uh, no, because that's not a pick to begin with, but I'll force him mm. to take it. <laughs> it will be hilarious. Uh, tr true faith is an ability that basically only only true believers can have access to. It's like a five point ability, and it, and it gives you the ability to um, basically turn the undead. However, vampires can paradoxically get it. So if I cast it, won't it hurt me? Uh, no, it'll hurt everyone else around you, though. It'll hurt all of us. Uh huh. Thanks, V. But I mean, would V care? <laughs> well, my character's blonde, so I'm already I'm, I'm already on his side to begin with. I hope you're going to give me a madness arch. Oh, don't worry about it. So Ezri <laughs> equip that's Dev, right? Should I show all the arts? Yes, do. Okay, so here's mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. That's the lolly. Uh, here's Rags. He's very I, handsome, I, very wide jaw, you know? I have and, a, and I, yeah. very normal, as you said, Arch. Just like a normal Very fellow. normal. And usually so. Hmm. And here's V. <laughs> Who looks incredible. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they can't see it, Arch. You're not screen sharing uh, me properly. I should be. Uh, uh, stop uh, present everything. Okay, I'll stop presenting and I'll represent you. Yeah, let me just. Okay, no, hold on. There was a problem with my screen share. It's back now. Okay, I, I'll, I'll I'll redo it here. Okay, there's okay. my character, guys. And my screen share was bugged a bit. So there's my character. Um, I don't know. What am I? Am I twelve or something? I don't want to know. For fucking <laughs> legal these reasons, I don't want to know. <laughs> this is my character. Um, here's Rags with his his wide jaw and handsomeness. Oh, it's just like me. And here's V, who looks incredible. You look like Guile from Street Fighter. <laughs> mm. And we finally got um, Uzalu, who is quite literally just Jordan Peterson. He just traced Jordan Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a terrifying party this truly is. <laughs> See, okay, guys, I didn't even ask for Tanya. He just drew it as Tanya. I know, I know who, who who you're talking about. It's like an anime character who is basically this person. I described I I described um Toriador Vampire Lolly, and he drew Tanya on his own. <laughs> let, let, let me get a picture of actual Tanya. Ah, oh, Tanya. See, that, that's a good manga right there. Awesome little manga. Yeah. Oh, hold on. God damn it. Yeah. So here's, here's the actual character that I guess I'm based on. Oh god, that's that's the ugly art though, there, Dev. That's the anime art. Yep. 
But you got you got to find the proper manga art because it looks crazy. Um, I don't know. She looks pretty crazy there. Yeah, but uh, the manga's art, the overly stylized parts, really cool. Let's see. Ah, ah, here we go. Right. Uh... Did you post it uh, in the Discord? D and D chat. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know this series. Is she actually a vampire? Uh, no. She is a middle-aged Japanese corporate employee who gets pushed in front of a train and is reincarnated as a little girl because he didn't believe in God hard enough. Really? Women, notoriously um, <laughs> unbelieving. I, I might want to... Maybe I should watch this. And it definitely sounds like an anime plot line, yeah. You know, say whatever you want about the fucking Japanese, but they know originality. Or just mm -hmm. making crazy shit up, more correctly. At any cost. Well, I feel that's kind of a trope now. You know, they die and they reincarnate into some spider girl that's in a Dungeons and Dragons thing, or some guy with a cell phone. or It's a, a common trope that they're having. Oh, yeah, the overall one. But they, they don't just do the same thing. They add in some crazy. Yeah. Like, um, the one you mentioned also, um, Kumo Desuga Nanika, where she gets transformed into a spider, is actually a pretty good manga as well. Yeah, you recommend it. It's actually funny. But I, I thought that, uh... there's, not, there's not a lot of dialogue. It's just monologuing all the way. Well, yes, she's in, literally uh... a spider who can't speak. In Western media, you tend to get mundane characters thrust into extraordinary situations. Okay, but in so Japanese media, yeah, there's I a significant tendency for them to take to this. Uh, true faith is a power held by the truly devout. A brandished cross can have an effect on a vampire, a fallen, a mage, a werewolf, a wraith, or a changeling instead of being an empty symbol. I have a sneaking suspicion that Dev and Uzla can not hear one another. I can hear yeah, Dev, I can't hear Uzla and at all. that would explain why he just We're doing this. We're doing interrupted this problem, me during a very important thought. I was making an important nope, critique of anime, of Dev. What's he saying? I'm calling you a cunt, Dev. <laughs> I'm guessing it's ridiculous. <laughs> I imagine Uzla was sitting there like, why is, why is he being a cunt to me? And Dev's just blitheringly walking on. <laughs> it would explain several other times I thought he was being okay, a cunt. Okay, here, I'll, I'll leave and come back, all right? Yeah, you better. Uh, Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts. All right, in three more minutes, the Sargon should appear, if God is willing. If God oh, got me fucking uns. When he says 15 minutes, you should give half an hour at least. Uh, if he's not here within the three minutes, then we'll just start and we can fill him in as he goes. He can just blunder in. Stream officially starts tomorrow, chat. Oh, oh. back in Pirate Shazam. Like in Sargon time. Okay, so I'm I've... so glad that Dev can't hear me calling him a cunt. I can hear you now. Yay, you cunt. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Yes. I can hear you, I, yes. And I think I can hear Rags, too. Rags? Yes. Yes. And Arch? Yes. All right. Um, okay, I'm sharing the screen. You can all... Uh, you, you can now put me back on, on front there, Arch. Uh, yeah. There's this and... guy on YouTube that goes around finding the most painful insects imaginable and gets stung by them. Why not? He has a YouTube channel for everything. Yeah, he got stung Literally. by... And Hornet, he got stung by a fire ant, he got stung by a centipede. Literally, like every single thing that it's painful, he he wants to get stung by it. Good hobby. He's got like 7.3 million views as well. Um, Arch. Has he ever been stung by waiting for Saigon? Because <laughs> that's pretty painful. Yes, Arch, you, may, you, you may have made a mistake here. I can access... V's character, but not my own. Uh, you know, Ezri Ewip is right there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah I, I can see it, but it has the lolly art. Um, let's see. You should have access to it. See, uh, when I click on Area yeah, Jihid, it says Toreador, and it has uh, V's art. <laughs> um, right. Uh, F5 name? and should be fixed. Why is GIMP so retarded when it comes to layers? 
Holy fuck. It's, just, it's bad. I'm it's I'm just crazy. I'm struggling to find out how to just move a layer down. And I can't, I just I legitimately can't find out how to do it. Have you got the layer panel open? Yeah, yeah, I do. You can't just drag it down beneath another one? No, I can't. That's what's so fucking frustrating. You can't just do that. I just want to move what I pasted beneath the layer I already it locked. Have. Is the layer locked by any chance? That's in Photoshop. I don't think it does that Is exactly, it, but... I have anchor the floating layer. You see, when I, I've pasted it. I've pasted something on something else. Ah, so you layers. might have to... In Photoshop, for example, you'd have to confirm the paste before doing anything. And then when I click again. away, like when I click away from the selection after I've pasted it, it disappears from the layer. It sounds like you need to confirm it somehow. I don't know how. Like maybe I, I, I have hate to GIMP. I've tried paste it. is because I, I I just I just need to find out. Just use paste paint. You got a better chance of figuring out using paint. Okay, I got to paste as new layer. Just use paint. Yeah, I and ironically use do um, Affinity Designer. That's the best uh, graphics program I've I found. There we go. I figured it out. Yeah. Arch. I have a feeling yeah. that the easiest way to do this will be oh, just to switch to, to switch the Esri Ewip name and icon with the Arioff one, because the entire character sheets are are switched around. Uh, how do you mean? Well, if you open up um, it, what is it, Esri Ewip? You click uh -huh. on that, and it has my icon on it, but inside it says Clan Malkavian name V. And all the various traits that V has. Oh, yeah, I just mistook the uh, pictures. I'll fix that. All right. And now I've pasted it as new layer and I can't move it. And it has a, a yellow border around it. And I, I can't you, click it or select it. <laughs> are you two oh. doing like a, a Photoshop thing right now? I'm, I'm trying to just edit a fucking image. But GIMP. Um, is frustrating when it's that's layers. <laughs> we're 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 on the stream. <laughs> Good. I want yeah, them to know my frustration. <laughs> we're still waiting for someone, so we're still in in the pre-stream period. Get for okay. 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 For this, so right, fuck yourself. All right. It has been fifteen minutes. Uh, we have given Sargon the time he has requested. Uh, he will arrive at point from his trip to fucking India to collect his leaves, and. Uh, that then we'll fill him in. So now the character stuff should be fixed as well. Okay, let me let me just annoy the uh, the amphitheater on here with an everyone. I'll get Discordia to unban at dev if you're not careful. Uh, you should not abuse the at everyone feature. It's cruel and unusual. I only do it once a week. Yes. <laughs> once too often. <laughs> <laughs> but oh bloody well, I suppose. Um Right, fuck it. We'll uh we'll get started, I think. Uh so it is 2 a.m. on the 22nd of June, 1941. You have been uh, drafted for various reasons, whether or not you have volunteered or been forced into this. You are now part of the 113th Besondere Jager, which is an independent unit designed to be sent around the front line as needed. You are nominally under the Waffen SS, but only nominally. You are acting somewhat outside of the usual command structure. But officially, you are currently assigned to the 11th Infantry Division of the 29th Corps of the 6th Army under Walter von Reichnau. You are currently sitting in the back of a specially modified Sonderkart Fahrzeug 8. The vehicle has been specially converted to meet your needs with a hardcover top where you can sleep safely during the day. You are expected to attend a briefing from your commanding officer in a few minutes. Anything you would like to do before then? I think all these words are not real and you're making them up. 
<laughs> um, how much blood do we currently have? How many blood points? Are we all, are we full up or are yes. we hungry? You're full up. All right, I should probably put that in. The, should probably all put that in our sheet then. There's, a, there's, a, there's like a blood point meter, isn't there? I wouldn't want to start start you right off the bat. That'd be cruel. So the hunger is oh, uh, hunger's at zero then. Yes, and you are okay. all at seven humanity, by the way. Also, okay. So you're nice and human, little vampires, really. Is there anything we should know about the immediate background? Or are we going to learn that in this in this briefing? I guess depends. Do you have any like specific questions about the background? Um. Do we know how we came into service with the Nazis? Well, that depends on your own backstories. If you volunteered, like V probably did, yeah. or if you were forced into it in some way. Uh, you do know, however, that you didn't really have much of a choice. Uh, the Nazis were quite insistent. All right, fair enough. Anything Ooh. else? That's something a, you want to investigate or anything? No, I just want to tidy up my uniform, make sure it's uh, all spotlessly clean-like, very presentable, and follow the protocol, the correct salutes, everything. I see. Uh, would you like to bother your fellow friends with just like, this is how you do this. You need to turn the colors, uh, the color of the uh, jacket to this area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course not. I need to look the best and they should know how to look the best. Of course. Is uh, is it only us in the, in here? Not or is even a team else? player getting dressed. <laughs> is yep. it only the only only the five of us? Or are there like other vampires uh, or other people Sargon, here? Sargon said in the uh, uh, Discord that he's on his way. How adorable! <laughs> but yeah, it's <laughs> only you in here at the moment. You do have an assigned driver, um, but he's not here right now. Oh, so the, we're not actually moving anywhere. Like th this isn't. Uh... It's not driving anywhere. We're just in the back. Yep, you're in the back of the uh, truck. Um, it's basically a um, um, half belt truck. So the front area has wheels. The rear has tracks. Okay. Yep. Are there any like any supplies with us in in here, or is it just literally us like sitting on the floor? Um, the back has been converted to hold your sleeping coffins, basically. So this will be a safe place for you to rest even during the day. Wait, do it's we have to sleep in a mobile home? Well, no, you can sleep in a box if you want to. Like, yeah. What about like cots or beds? That's well, dark. you can. <laughs> if they, but if there turns to be a hole in the top, then... Uh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I assume coffins because they're just easily sealed, right? But you, you can sleep anywhere that's dark enough, yeah. Sleep in a basement, it'll work out. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Okay. Um, well, you can go to the briefing whenever you wish to. Sounds good. Um, are we just going to carry along Sargon's lifeless character? I, I look at Basically. my watch and I go to the briefing at the exact second, like anally on time. <laughs> it's two a.m., so it's dark. I presume, right? So yes, it's nice there. and dark yeah, outside. Okay. All right. I'm going to wear sunscreen. Not would help you much regardless. So this is what the vehicle uh, just looks like for those of you. Um, I should actually show this in the fucking thing too, just so people know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, people should, should know what was on the cut part so they get, but no. Yeah, yeah I, I've got it up on the screen now. Hello, everyone. So so that back seating area has, has, uh, has like an enclosed... Uh, uh, yeah, sorry? Yeah, I've just got back from Torquay. What's going on? <laughs> I, I Dev, don't you can't one. hear Sargon, can you? I can. Nope. <laughs> you better refresh okay, them. Okay, I guess I can't hear him. Are you can two in the else? same browser? Maybe this is a browser-related thing. I'm, I'm using brave. brave, but this this happened on other browsers for me. Well, it could be a commonality. Brave is a fork of, I think, a fork of a fork of Chrome. Ultimately, I might be wrong on that. But if you're yeah, both using the same on, browser, on, on, well, here I'll I'll just leave and come back or... again. I'll be okay. Right. If it's happened on IE, then fair enough. Yeah. It's really annoying, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think we can do everything that we can do with Hangouts on Discord if I if I just create a little workaround quickly, a link that get, lets you use the voice channel as a video channel. 
Except you can't broadcast straight from it. We'd have to do that manually. That would be up to you, Arch. Well, you Arch can experiment can't use... with that later, I guess. Mm, sure. The problem is, like, my internet is so fucking shit that Hangout is one of the few things that does work. Hello. I should move to Romania. I hear they have great internet. I should. They do. And it's cheap. <laughs> Checkmate, Arch. So, can everyone hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Oh uh, my god, Devo with his demonetization screen. I, I can't hear Dev. So, sorry, not Devo. Rags with his demonetization screen. Indeed. My demonetization screen. you change the fact that Sargon can't hear Dev? Sorry, Dev, say something. Hear me. No, wait, Hello. Hear oh, no, you too. Yeah, yeah no. don't have the bended cross because YouTube doesn't like it. Oh, you mean this so, picture here? Everybody can hear everybody now? I have no idea what so. you mean. <laughs> oh my god, Sargon looks like such a dork with his glasses. You look like a dork with your glasses. Yeah, that's a good point. Checkmate, V. Yeah, V, get fucked. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, man. We will <laughs> the your way out of that one. You're going to get Arch's channel in trouble. Hey, me? If, 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 I okay, I'll take this away then. I look so no, not Rags. Rags has uh, a lot to go in his. If Sargon's talking, I can't hear him anymore. Oh, fuck, say I can. <laughs> I can hear Sargon. No, he, he wasn't talking, Dev. Don't worry about it. No, no, okay. <laughs> oh, God. We probably are going to have to fucking do a workaround. Arch, uh, not to give you extra stuff to do, but I think it would be a great idea if you could find another moderator for the chat, because there's always spam. Hello, I'm back. Dev, are you there? I'm the Dev has returned. I'm here as well. <laughs> Are you here? Yes. <laughs> he I responded, Sargon. <laughs> I un unironically, I can't hear him. Nice. <laughs> we can hear him, I think. Can anyone else yeah. not hear him? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll try logging into a different account, too. Give me a second. <laughs> Let's just wrench some random people. I'm not sure about random people. I mean, there yeah, might be some people why. here that we recognize. Yeah, I'll be a little selective. Uh, give a wrench to Daka. Give a wrench. You could probably give one to Captain Panda. I've seen him in my, in my chat. Okay. Who else? Star Free Star Wendy Star. has been in my Star chat Star. as well. No, I can hear him. Okay. Devo. Hello. I can hear you. I can't hear a word. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll try a different browser. Hang on. The horror. The horror. What well, I think you find interesting, though, is the porn links are in Arabic. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. When, when they try to uh, rig the elections, they don't really have the manpower to fix Google Hangouts, you know? Indeed. And when the elections do happen, Hangouts definitely won't work because they'll all be busy. <laughs> they already banned Reddit the Donald. Well, not banned it, but they quarantined it. You can't have people who it. like Donald Trump on the internet. Yeah, you can't have that kind of situation. You can't, you can't have people supporting the president of the United States. There is the right. Sargon, and there's the Deb. So, someone in chat who you just modded is telling you not to mod randoms. I, I can't. <laughs> I will teach you the mistake. Right. That De you Dev, did. are you there? I can hear Yes. Ah, I can hear you finally. Oh, Listen, wow. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, thank God. Right. I can hear you too. Go. Hello. Yes. Hi. Arch. Hi. Oh, thank God. Uh, oh, hang out, finally wait. works. V? Yeah. Hi. Ah, okay. There's two of me now, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah, let's play the game. It's okay. better to have two than one. I'm sharing my screen, Arch. I can't hear anything from V. Is he talking at all? Are you serious? Present. Yeah, yeah, I, I am fucking with you. Yeah. What? Are, are you kidding? <laughs> yes, I am fucking with you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Arch, this was the vehicle that we're apparently riding in, modified to have basically a, a light sealed back. Yes, it has a hard top on the back. And what is okay. the name of this craft? Zonderkraft Fahrzeug 8. Zonderkraft Fahrzeug 8. You've still got a little soft pretty strong here. Arch, don't you mean? Zonderkraft Fahrzeug Arch, don't you mean acht rather than eight? Well, I don't want to make it too hard for the poor bastards. Oh, I can <laughs> handle oct. If some of us pretty strong here, this thing looks nice. If we fail, it's completely on us, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 
So I guess it's time to roll 20 shit itself. Yeah, I'm just reloading it real quick. And there. All right. So you can head out to the briefing. The briefing will take place in a small log cabin. Uh, It is observing blackout procedures. So you can see just a little bit of light peeking out beneath blinders. And blackout procedures for uh, the vampires, right? Well, no, for uh, things wanting to shoot artillery at you, in this case. Uh, I thought it was special for just a moment. For just one tiny little moment. <laughs> nope. I have removed the uh, the evil icon so that people from Germany won't be unable to watch this. I'm a little bit sad about that, but... It's okay, <laughs> uh, Rags made it sure people can't watch it now. <laughs> Details. Okay, Hold so... Up. I have an idea. Mm. Uh, do, do do continue. Don't uh, pay no heed to what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Pay no uh, heed to right. poor doodles. Are you are you drawing? Are you fucking? <laughs> I can't what move him. I think Opera's having what some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I move the mouse, it spoils the fucking view. <laughs> you know so that broken. they would unironically call that a swastika, right? There we go. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Every time I move the mouse, it spoils the view. So it's very hard to draw that. It's the Jesus. Japanese manji symbol, everyone. <laughs> well, no, th- that's actually the swastika. You've got it the wrong way around. <laughs> All right, I guess um, the yeah, Buddhist symbol is the everybody. other way. <laughs> anyway, let's let's play. Yes. Although, I mean, good idea. I guess I can just I think you'll find it's a windmill of peace. There you go. And the little dots, just to make it clear. There we are. We're Buddhists <laughs> now. Right, welcome to Buddhism, the RP. So, in the room is your commanding officer. You know him only by his last name, von Reichstoffen. Oh, like the guy from Nazi Zombies. Pretty much. Is he a uh, Nazi uh, vampire as well? He is not. He is a bona fide human. All right. Uh, oh, I see. He is a part of the Prussian aristocracy and serves in the Wehrmacht, although that also is just quote unfucking quote, as he is uh, assigned to you guys on a fairly permanent basis. But he is an old blood Prussian aristocrat, and so he greets you with Mein Herren. I do the proper greeting. I will oh, do the proper greeting as well. Salute and all. But Very which one? Pro- oh, the military one or the uh, <clears throat> Roman one? The um, the Prussian one. The to Prussian remind one. him of his homeland. Close or the first enough. one. Arch, I don't have access to my character for some reason. Oh, thank yeah. God. All right. I only have the bio and info, but not the actual thingy. Um, do there refresh and it should be fixed. Right. Well, he'll uh, launch into his briefings if you are ready. I can't wait to launch into some briefings. Let's do it. Yep. All right. He seems uh, lively, especially for this late in the night. He's pacing the room, uh, punching the air. He's really excited about this. We are standing at the precipice of a historic event. Finally, we will deal with the specter of Bolshevism once and for all. But make no mistake, this will not be an easy task, mein Herr. This war cannot be fought in a knightly fashion, as our enemies are savage untermensch who will flinch from no action or terror, as made clear from their refusal to sign the Geneva Convention. Well, it needs to they- be in a knightly fashion, because we can't go out in the daylight. Silence, the hair is talking. <laughs> <laughs> Make no mistake, my harem, any soldier captured by the Bolsheviks can expect no fate beyond torture and execution. We are fighting a force directly opposed to the fundamental tenets of civilized existence. And so no matter how difficult it is, it is a war we must fight. Oh, we shit, never I claim to be on the right side of history if we let such an insidious nation grow and spread its influence in the world. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. <laughs> yes. See. There's, there's nothing role play about this yet. Is this supposed to be a role playing series? <laughs> <laughs> so this is just what real life is. Yeah. yeah. Well, he takes the applause very happily. With that being said, as civilized men, we are still bound by some treaty restrictions. When taking prisoners of war, those taken can be considered enemy combatants in good standing and in uniform, presenting all the identifiers required, are to be delivered to the Felgendarmerie, who will sort them based on the Polish system used during the war against the Bolsheviks in 1919. He uh, asks if there's any questions relating to the treatment of prisoners of war. Can we feed uh, them? Are our prisoners or their prisoners? Your prisoners. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that, chance. Oh, uh, no. could you repeat all of that one more time? No. <laughs> um, what was that 1919 method? Well, he's glad you asked. <laughs> well, my character's probably too young to know it, so. And my actual self is way too fucking young to know it, so. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, von Reisthofen has quite the uh, admiration for the Poles, actually, because he thought they had a great system for dealing with the Bolsheviks. They introduced a three-camp system, where the uh, first camp was for officers in good standing, or those politically opposed to the Bolsheviks, uh, Ukrainians and so on. They would be treated really nice, be given good food, not be beaten all that often, and the Poles would try to recruit them. The second camp was for the simple rank and file, who had no benefits to the polls and no party affiliation. The third camp, that was for anyone and everybody who was a member of the Communist Party. And, uh, well, let, let's just say that the casualty rate in those camps were uh, <clears throat> excessive. Okay, so what are, what are we doing exactly here? <laughs> You're receiving a briefing from your commanding officer. Right, okay. Um, assuming there are no further questions. When do we kill the communists? <laughs> Soon, mein Kameraden. Soon. <laughs> As for your part in this undertaking, you will have the honor of being one of the first troops in contact with the vile Bolsheviks. You will move towards a small border guard outpost. It shows you a map and how you get there. And eliminate it silently, mein Herren. Technically, we are still at peace with the Bolsheviks. This will open up a line of advance for the first Panzer Armee when Barbarossa begins at 3 a.m. You are expected to face only light resistance. Well, you know what I say. Work as hard as you possibly can on at least one thing and see how long it takes the communists to die. <laughs> here, here. The poor communists. Right. Um, he gives you the full briefing, you know, details it, shows it, and you will be able to find your way there easily enough. Um, as he's finishing up, however, he pulls out a piece of paper from his uh, breast pocket oh. and uh, informs you that there is one further instruction coming down from the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht itself called the Kommissar Befehl. Uh, you will not be given a copy of this. This will have to be taken uh, verbally. And it quite simply st states that in the battles against Bolshevism, the adherence of the enemy to principles of humanity or international law is not to be counted upon. In particular, it can be expected that those of us who are taken prisoners will be treated with hatred, cruelty, and inhumanity by political commissars of every kind. And therefore... Political commissars will not be considered prisoners of war. They are therefore, when captured, as a matter of routine to be dispatched by firearms. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> Precise in your marksmanship. Uh, they gave, he gives you a description how you can tell them apart from the usual troops. A red star with golden woven hammer and sickle on the sleeve. And the only exception to the rule of shoot commissars is if a political commissar has not been found guilty of enemy action, nor a suspect of such 
actions. That if he hasn't been shooting at you, then he should be left unmolested for the time being. It will only be possible after further penetration of the country to decide whether remaining functionaries may be left in place or are to be handed over to the Sonder Commando. The aim should be for the latter to carry out the assessment. So you are expected to take any commissars who did not fire upon you and therefore didn't make themselves war criminals to simply be handed over to the Felgendarmoe or be so essentially, uh, accidented. So essentially, do not let the commissars do anything that makes you dislike them. Basically. <laughs> Don't the commissars I you not know the Jordan Peterson quotes, or these are going to no, fall flat I, more I, often than they should. I, I definitely get that one, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can we not torture the commissars for information? Are you asking that? Yeah. I mean, that's a good principle. After all, assume that the person you're listening to might know something you don't about enemy troop movements. Oh, God, Uzulu. You can't do this for every <laughs> single fucking... <laughs> well, not say every that. single. Um, <clears throat> he seems to ponder this for a moment. Philosophical question. <laughs> it, it is. It is a philosophical question. Um, whilst I applaud your enthusiasm, comrade, the task of torturing political officers should be left to the specialists. <laughs> All right. Yep. Do not okay. bother the specialists while they're doing their special jobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he puts the papers away. He then also follows up by saying that once you have captured the guard post, uh, you are to send a signal over a small radio, which will be carried by a troop right behind you. And then you won't be given further instructions. Yeah. All right. Is everything clear? Do you know what you're supposed to do? Any questions? What, one question, Herr Commandant. Uh, the weapons we're going to get, can we request something and see if it's possible for the army to provide? Um, he will take requests and pass them on to the quartermasters. For now, uh, you will be equipped from a uh, small storehouse outside where there'll be a selection. And you also, also have your... Um, your daggers, the Schutzstaffel daggers with you. All right. Do we, do we write it down on a piece of paper? Um, I'll put in the D&D. &D. There. Schutzstaffel dagger. Sniper rifle or just rifle? You wish to request a sniper rifle. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a difference between a sniper rifle and a rifle in the 40s. Um, he wonders if you have the qualifications for that. That's a training program. I'm an amazing shot. I used to fire in the campus at the training uh, area with the guns and the students. I see. He frowns at this request. Um, <clears throat> whilst our enemies may use the cowardly tactic of employing snipers, the Wehrmacht does not recognize the use of such terror troops, comrade. But they're not human, commandant. <laughs> Nevertheless. See, I, I gave myself the same specialization simply because Jürgen Panzerson believes that you should be precise in your marksmanship. Uh, but now that you've said that, I'm glad I didn't mention it. Because now I, I guess like, I'll change it. Because the team I'm on finds it dishonorable. <laughs> They're not human, Commandant. It's like hunting season. Uh, and, uh, good not all... Uh... Not all Russians are Bolsheviks, come out. Hmm. Then a normal rifle will suffice. Yep. Well, there will be a rifle out there, he's sure. But uh, you can apply for marksmanship stuff. Uh, the uh, let's just as a small spoiler, let's say that the Germans' approach to uh, snipers being dishonorable would uh, shift with yeah, the mounting casualties. That's <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think having a vampire in your army is already pretty dishonorable. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, possibly when you put it like that, <laughs> would you would you like to argue that point with them? This team yeah, is I'm to do it. going to ask him, uh, can I cast blood magic on the Bolsheviks, or is that dishonorable <laughs> as well? Well, he doesn't know what blood magic is, really. Can I enslave <laughs> hundreds of Bolsheviks? Is, is that deemed as unsportsmanlike? Can we use Zyklon B? 
Well, as the answer to that question, um, <laughs> all of them, uh, the Kameraden in the uh, unit are allowed to use any powers with which they feel comfortable until instructed otherwise. As for your actions over the Bolshevik populace, you are also allowed to do anything necessary. However, it is up to uh, those higher in the chain of command to decide who are who are not Bolsheviks. I grin at the commandant and I say, when I'm done with them, they will wish I had the sniper rifle. How <laughs> close should, uh, How close are we allowed to get before we can shoot them regarding the sniper rifle thing? Um, how? What do you mean? <laughs> Just fucking around. <laughs> oh, yeah, honorable, yes. <laughs> no, no, it, the principle is you're not them. supposed to be shooting people without them being able to shoot back. <laughs> Don't shoot. Now, now normally that would be a silly principle, but we are literally <laughs> immune to bullets, so I have a feeling that's there's something reasonable about that. If we can trick the enemy into obeying these rules, we'll be in luck. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was it was a genuine idea. Like the the Prussian officer corps viewed snipers as uh, you know, vile, truly dishonorable. They they called them um, uh, sneak. Uh, sn ah, what was it? Um, sneak Sne shooters, basically. Well, for this group, it'd be snark shooters. <laughs> snark shooters. Yeah. Well, anyone else wants to request weapons? Um. Well, um, may I ask to, uh, what our, what's our beginning equipment that we kind of start out with? Do we have a um, do we have an inventory list that we can use to take a look at what we start out the game with, like can. an adventurer's we backpack, forty style? Yep, he uh, he has a selection of the weapons that you can uh, select from. You all have your daggers. Uh, he also presents a uh, Luger nine x nineteen millimeter Panabellum for a pistol. You can also Choose a Beretta Model 38 919 millimeter Parabellum SMG. Uh, there's also the Carabina 98K rifle, 7.92 x57 millimeter. And uh, those are your selections for now. Further weapons mm -hmm. can be requested. I take it silencers aren't invented yet. Well, they are, but. They are, but they're. Yeah. they're I mean, it's a stealth mission, so it would be nice if we can get some. Oh, yeah, that, that's way more honorable. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, don't well, have silences. Well, they don't have to hear you. They just have to be able to. It's it's complicated. All right, Sargon, do you want anything? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Also, oh, RJ still can't see my Sargon. Uh, hmm. Did Did Sargon say anything there? Oh, his mic is muted. He's probably talking and not. No. He's muted his microphone. Good job, Sargon. Yeah, <laughs> well, we got to actually here. be away. Impressive. Wouldn't wouldn't that be an amazing thing if he'd muted his mic and he actually meant to and wasn't there? Hmm. Mm, I don't know. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Also, if any of you haven't noticed yet, yeah, no, you've now got... you should have control over it. I've suddenly given you the access to it like three times. Hmm. If any of you haven't noticed, yeah, you've no. got access to an equipment area on your character sheet under details near the bottom. There's a place yeah, for equipment. Look at it. Ah, here we go. Uh, where uh, is it exactly? The details tab in the, at the top there, Dev. You scroll past it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Is, is, uh, is an MG42 a heavy weapon? MG42? Yeah. It, it's an it's an MG. Yes, it, it's fairly heavy. All right, I want one. Uh, is a vampire. <laughs> <weapon? laughs> okay. <laughs> well, first and foremost, your commander looks at you and asks, "MG42? What's very what subtle." That? Yeah, is a vampire able to carry one? Because they're a lot stronger than a human. Well, yeah, again, he, he just looks at you and asks you, what is an MG-42? A machine gun. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it Russian? Uh, well, well, okay, uh, my oh. character would know. What um, MG-42 equivalent do the Germans have? No, Before you wouldn't, the... because the MG-42 isn't fucking invented yet. How would I spell it? MG-42. What stationary weapons that are really powerful <laughs> and you consider them? Like an MG-40 or something. Yeah, like what, what is the, the equivalent of an MG-42 in this era? MG-34. Okay, can I have one? 
No. He can request one for you, but they don't have one ready now. Yeah, well, I, I explained to him that a vampire is capable of carrying one like a normal one. I see. Well, a human is able to carry one as well, so, you know, he's not overly impressed, but, you know, thanks for the input. I'll, just, I'll, I'll take uh, a Luger, then. I'll just put it in my sheet here. Yeah, I'll okay. take a rifle, uh, the best they have. Yep, a Carabiner 98K. The K stands for Kurtz. Kurtz. Uh, short, by the way. Is there there. any particular reason that we can't have both a pistol and a rifle? No, you can pick both. I think I will, then. <laughs> that sounds like what I'm going to do as well. You know, actually, I'm going to take the SMG. If you guys have rifles, I'll take the SMG. Round us, uh, round us, uh, our squad out a bit. Okay. So I have a feeling I should go for the rifle, given the precision thing. Where's the um, inventory? Because you got like Chronicle, uh, Blood, and XP. It's a details. details. Oh, details. And then scroll to the bottom. Mm. Arch, would you mind uh, listing the rifles again? Uh, was there one, two, or three, or something like that? Uh, they're in the uh, the D and D chat. The stats oh, are they? My bad. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, yep. thank you. Currently, there are only the standard German infantry rifle, the Carabiner 98K. Okay. Is the Beretta a pistol as well? The Beretta is a submachine gun. It's the one uh, ah, that Braggers show there. Right, gotcha. It's a rather unique uh, Italian design. It had two triggers, one for uh, full auto and one for single round. Let's see. It looks like a, a rifle with, with just a, a mag in the bottom of it. What about armor? Do we get some bulletproof vest or whatever they have back then? Again, the German just kind of looks at you and like bulletproof vests. <laughs> <laughs> you what? got a uh, an, an artwork here from Ritualist. I'll t I'll <laughs> take the bread and the pistol. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> oh Jesus! And here's Sargon's missing uh, artwork, I guess. No, oh, that's your, that's your driver. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This vehicle is a, a small upgrade from our cart. To be fair, it isn't much faster than your cart. <laughs> <laughs> but it will cross very interesting terrain. So, you know. I wonder if we can get a bathtub on top of it. Oh, it's do they have very... shotguns or those aren't invented? It's not very fast. Shotguns are illegal, V. You fucking vile cunt. <laughs> what about grenades? Uh, they don't have any grenades ready for you now, but. Partially because I haven't made rules for them. Okay. Mm. All right, I guess we're good to go. Uh, Sargon, are you back? Well, oh, good. <laughs> if our truck doesn't move very fast, I guess that means we won't be Russian. Russian. <laughs> Ban this one. Uh, Sargon the absent. Oh, that's a shame. This he's is more um, tea. Getting more tea, I guess. <laughs> like he got his 10 minutes and he's got a re tea. I mean, he's, he's had like 20 now. I don't, I don't know what he's doing with this plantation in his backyard. Maybe he's beating the slaves that grow it. Who knows? Oh, well. They probably deserved it. We'll just say that Sargon gets a pistol and a sharp stick or something. Dagger pistol situation. Dagger pistol. Dagger oh, a dagger form? and a, a, a dagger a, and a pistol. A gun blade. A gun, a gun blade. blade. Hey, Spoonie. Secret Nazi experiment. Give me a shot. A, a gun blade. Blade. Combined assault with a gun. So Giving him a shot stick and we've all have guns is uh, is quite appropriate to his uh, Civilization <laughs> Five and Six gameplay in the past. Here, I'll. Uh, <laughs> Dagger, I, I, in, Dagger Regiment, advance. He always has uh, massive armies of ancient era units, and I'm rolling in with like battleships. I will. I'll raise my hand and hope that the the commander here notices. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with yeah, hand no. raised, you're obscured by the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, you, you can just uh, talk to him. He's a yeah, man, Um, how long will it take for us to to get there? Uh, not long. Like it's right over the border. Like you're you're sitting on the border right now. Basically, it'll take you like ten minutes walk. I okay, have to say okay. he's he's a very and... um 
he's a very tolerant and accepting Nazi officer of this <laughs> young woman, yeah, young I girl. Have like uh, <laughs> Mechians in the army, how do you feel about this? <laughs> they are perfect for espionage. And, no, and he, I... uh, he is of the opinion that you guys are kind of... <sighs> He's not the proper zealot to view you guys as basically the ubermensch, but he does view you as a potential evolution of humanity, basically. So he likes Ooh. you. Mm. Okay. I'll uh, th Then I'll say, well, when does the sun rise? How, how much time do we have to do this? Oh, you should have plenty of time. I mean, the... Advance itself is slated for 3 a.m. and it's currently uh, one or two, I think. So you should have like an hour and a half easy. It depends on how many tea right. breaks we take. Oh, <laughs> by the way, uh, if you have rifles, uh, those uh, you you may also have a bayonet. Please, oh, that's nice. I just realized that I can't use the gun that I took because it requires a strength of two, and I have one strength. It's a terrible idea. Oops. I'm well, sure I can get I'm, one. You can, swap, you can swap. You're still You can here. just take another gun. Well, no, they all require two strength. It does not take two strength to... It takes two but, strength for a pistol. Holy let shit. Me just, let me just look at it. Yeah, yeah. So, All right, well, I yeah, hope says, you like daggers. <laughs> it says the Luger takes two strength, the Beretta takes two strength, and the... Yeah, they all take two strength. <laughs> right, well, I mean, the officer just kind of looks at you, I guess, how fucking... I mean, you are literally a child, so... <laughs> he just sighs and goes over to a cabinet and hands you a tiny little fucking pistol. All right. <laughs> let, me, let me put this... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll trade that in then. Tiny pistol. I'll, yeah, I'll, a, a fucking the, Tokarev. It, a, a little uh, Fisher Price. The Basically. tiny pistol. <laughs> what's what's the stats in my tiny pistol? My first sidearm. <laughs> I put it in the uh, the thing. Okay, let me grab it. <laughs> it really is a pea shooter, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It's it's pretty terrible. Size small. Um, range <laughs> low. <laughs> Range, arm sling, <laughs> <laughs> basically. It sounds Russian. The the bullets are fucking tiny. Like you can, it, it's it's pathetic. It's horrible. Is this the well, kind of gun that you shoot yourself with to work up to higher caliber immunities? Well, basically, the, the damage is still the same as the Luger, though, and it's it's also the same capacity. It's just less range. Yep. Okay. Shit. Now I want one. Bullets still hurt, but. I mean, yeah. if it's like a damage of two. Yep. Which Takarev is this? Uh, the T thirty three. The T thirty three. What did it? Should I? Oh, that should do more damage. That'll do more damage than a nine by nineteen. Um. No, the the case. It's quite um seven six two by twenty five is no joke. It, it sounds like that, but that's the Russian definition of that. Can I get the null acht fifteen? No, B. The, a German <laughs> told me that I should get a null acht fifteen. He lied to you. Hey guys, I've got my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Just give her a water pistol. I'm chat's recommending that I ask for armor, if there is any. He doesn't really have any armor now. Like the Germans don't use armor. Like it, he's kind of intrigued by the idea. Like maybe, maybe he can fix you up something eventually. But there's no helmet? standard made armor. It, didn't they have like spiked helmets? Pickle house? That's no. World War One. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. My character is insane and can see glimpses of the future. Can I tell him what an MG42 looks like by drawing it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could. Uh, but have, yeah, they you, have MG38s. Um, you can have style headums, but they're not going to give you like any real armor. It is. It is better than nothing, I suppose. Better than nothing. But I guess we're also role playing in the uh, 
the the German Nazi hat does give a certain a certain <laughs> presence. Can we go shooty shooty now? A I don't ball. know. I don't know. Is Sargon didn't sippy sippy. Should we do some more shopping? Well, Sargon hasn't you know got what we should stuff do? yet, but he's gone. <laughs> you, you know what we he's should gone. do? We should go and find an island and develop it into a silver mine. We could do that too. Uh, <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll do that next episode. We'll go to a small island in the you know the Scandinavian Sea or something. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, um, it doesn't take you long to move up to the front. You let your truck stay because, you know, it would make noise. Um, it's pitch dark, but of course, you're fucking vampires. You don't give a shit, do you? Do we? Now, have we, now vampires Actually, can see in the dark, right? It, it's never been established. Can they see in the dark? I'm pretty sure they can. They're fucking vampires. No. I I think, I've, I've, uh, I've got some artwork here. I don't know. I, I assume oh, they, that... they'd have decent night vision because they're used to it, but... Is that here, the equivalent here's... of true sight? Here's, here's my character. Looks good. <laughs> that does look good. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I would assume vampires can see in the dark. I mean, they have heightened senses, right? So, I mean, probably. Yeah, but what if it's like a, like a sense of irony or something? A sense of irony. <laughs> Which would be a like if we couldn't see up. in the dark. All right, I'll, I'll Google it. We'll see. Uh, can vampires see in the dark? I've got uh, it here. Kindred do Ooh. not suffer normal Ooh. vision penalties for being in the dark and can compensate with hearing. In full darkness, they only suffer a minus two die penalty through also required vision. So yeah, they do have some penalties, but they can make up for it. Yeah. Right. The science of vampirism says they have excellent night vision, but they're effectively blind in the day. Uh, the, in, in the Masquerade actual rule set, if you have... Protean one or Auspex one, you have night vision. Otherwise, you have human vision. Oh, but you have, okay. I have. I have night vision then. But you have better than average hearing, so you can kind of make up for it. I think I have Auspex one as well. I think all of you have fucking Auspex, don't you? I have. I have Auspex three. I'm Protean. Jesus. Uh, let me see. I can see V's character. What does he have? He he has, he has dominate and obfuscate. He doesn't have any night vision at all. He has national socialists. <laughs> he does. I can't. Right, I so can't, V can't is blind, that. but everybody else can see. Um, I, oh, I, so. I have dominate fortitude and presence. I don't have all specs, so you can't see either. Two of you are I blind. Have something else. What? What? What does? What does Sargon have? Um, all specs and blood magic. I think. Team. Okay, so he if he were here, he could see. If he were here, he could see. I, I think okay. my vision isn't invented yet, right? Well, it's in the prototype stages, but not not really. Okay. Well, how dark are we talking about? Is there a moon at least? It, it's pretty fucking dark, but I mean, you've got aspects, so um, you know, you you spot the guard outpost. It's a medium-sized hut standing on the uh, large dirt road. You can see a bonfire flickering outside in the dark. Um, there's a guard just sitting by it. You know, he's, uh, his weapon is uh, sitting next to him. And this is the field. Oh, this over here, by the way, is barbed wire. It's difficult to fucking see, but I, I couldn't find barbed wire that looked decent. <laughs> Is the can we tell if the tank is running? Uh, the tank, well, uh, you cannot hear any engine noises from it. What's the range on Dominate? What is the range on Dominate V? Let me, let me take a look here, I guess. I think you have to be quite close. Um, mm. it's, it says like, like like level one dominate is gives a simple one word order that a target must obey. I assume they have to be able to hear it. I have level four dominate. Okay. Let's see. Uh, level one cloud memory mesmerize uh, forgetful mind. Level four rationalize. 
What does rationalize do? And the uh, dominate. It's a very deep question. Characteristics. Okay. Uh, you should probably read your fucking abilities. Be a bigger delay. Its its use almost always adheres to two important restrictions. The user must meet the eyes of the target and must speak in a language that is clearly heard, heard and understood by the target. So you have to be closer than this. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> obfuscate is the stealth, yeah. So I think I'll use that. Okay, you don't want to at least take a second to converse with the rest of the party before doing something. Are you asking V that question? I know, <laughs> but he's doing. He, he's getting worse, and I'm trying to reel it in. Well, I, I assume you, you guys want to sneak in, right? Because we have to do it quietly. Let me just quickly look something up before we, we have to do it without them raising here. the alarm. I uh, I may have slightly missed what our overall objective is here. I apologize. Um, you are to neutralize the guard post and as <laughs> quietly as possible, preferably. All right. Yeah. If, if somebody has obfuscate, they can sneak in without really being seen. Yeah, I have obfuscate. Anyone else? I'm trying to, I'm trying to find my my vampire handbook, essentially. Uh, what, what level of obfuscate? Level one. Uh, that will give you Cloak of Shadows. Standing perfectly still, the user blends into the surrounding. So you're probably not going to sneak great with that. As long mm -hmm. as you're not moving, you can't be seen. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to find out what Presence does. It might have something for this. Are there uh, windows like a, on this? I, I, oh, yeah, windows on the, on the house here. Uh, there are no windows on that side. Okay. You can see some. Um, you can see some light, however, seeping out from the side over here. So you, there's probably light uh, seeping out of windows on this side of the building. And uh, how uh, much is the radius of this fire? Like, I assume this place is completely dark. Yeah, it's it's about to the sandbags around. No more than that. So so he can't see us if we come here, like. Uh, probably not. I mean, he'd roll to spot you, but it's unlikely. Yeah. I mean, there's no spotlight or anything like that. No. He doesn't seem to be particularly uh, on guard either. Uh, is the house tall enough that we could jump, being vampires and all? Uh, unlikely. Okay. Uh, so, what's your plan, guys? Hmm... I need to find the actual manual. I, I'm, I'm just using the wiki. What are you looking for? Uh, the manual, the arch linked. If there's a wiki, I might use that actually. What, what is the wiki for this? Yeah, I'll just paste it. It's got, it's got, this, this is a list of all of the various disciplines. You can just open the ones that you have. Also, uh, we're not at war with the Russians, right? So even if they would spot us, they wouldn't shoot at us unless we cross the border. Possibly. Yeah, but surely if we're attacking our, their outpost, we're declaring war if they see us. Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, like, if, if he would spot me here, I'm on German territory, so he wouldn't open fire and there would be no problem, right? Yeah, that, that's a lot of assumptions from a twitchy <laughs> border guard, but technically... <laughs> I mean, it would be an international incident. Not in the 40s. <laughs> uh, worst things have happened. <laughs> see what i got here well we can do this a number of ways if we um we don't know how many people are inside the house yet so it would be a good idea for us to maybe if we can get closer and listen in try to peer through windows to see if we can find out how many it is we're dealing with because if it's one or two it'll be easy we can just take them out but um but if, if, uh, if there's more than that, or if they have some weird stuff going on in there, we might want to get creative. All right, let's uh, let's try sneaking through the woods and see what's on this side of the building. Yeah, let's let's slip around. Those of you who have um, any kind of stealthing ability should probably go ahead, because I I do not have obfuscate. Well, let me see according to the handbook, what um, what do I want to use to open the handbook, the PDFs. Um, I guess we'll just use 
Um, go to Protean. <coughs> Should we try the commandos approach and throw a pack of cigarettes to see if he comes up? <laughs> Protean. Oh, actually, um, let me see, because I have animalism. So if there's, I, I assume there's crows and stuff in the forest. So if there's a way for me to, like, maybe take control of a crow, if I go all, all bran and take control <laughs> of, a, of a bird or anything, fly it on the window, have it look inside, maybe something like that. Um, well, there are certainly uh, birds around. Let's see, what level of animalism do you have? Let me see. Pull that up. Do, 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 do. Animalism is one, protean is two. You can ask a crow, because it says, speak telepathically with an animal whose eyes you meet. Just say, hey, can you go check it out for me? Maybe he'll say yes. Hmm. Let me see. The crows Maybe. have a concept of consent. <laughs> well, of course, they're not barbarians. <laughs> they're not fit. communists. Um, so what, what was it again? Uh, animalism level? I have animalism level one and protean level two. Does animalism work on communists? No. So <laughs> level one is bond famulus. So you can uh, blood bond an animal and make it into familiar, forming a mental link with it. Uh, which allows you to actually then you could you know move it and everything. Yeah, I guess we're using different rule books because maybe. Um yeah, yeah. The, the, the one that I have says feral speech as the first point in animals. Yeah. And then beckoning. Feral <laughs> speech should be able to um should be able to work though. Because right now Protean seeing because I can see in the dark. Use sonar-like abilities to orientate yourself underwater. Yeah, that'll be useful. Dolphins unsight. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Da, 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 da. Earth meld. I don't have that yet. Shape of the beast. I gotta get myself that. But for now. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, what what rule book are you using exactly? Because I think we might be using different ones. The V five, the one that is linked in the uh, uh, disk, the Google All Drive. Right. Let me go to that then. Two sixty nine is that ability? Presence. Uh, animalism Ready? is a bit further up. Uh, Two forty five. Two forty five. Doolittling. Hmm. All right. Bond families. I have all those powers. The power alone is not a way to a communication. Fall simple verbal instructions. Huh. It attacks in defense of itself. Actual crow murder. A murder of crows. This master can otherwise be persuaded to fight something it would not normally attack. Well, let's see. So it sends the beast. <laughs> Mortals vent any sense of nature under hostility. Um, since the beast, I guess I don't need that yet. Now I have feral whispers until. Yeah, because this is different than the wiki. So I, we're going by this then. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'll just close the wiki might as well. All right. I just noticed that Sargon is now completely left. Oh, oh no! What happened a little while ago? Oh, jeez! It happened, happened so quietly. <laughs> what happened there? God damn it, Sargon! Who knows? Um, right. So, some of you wanted to sneak around the back, did you? To the side, potentially. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. L let's let's sit through the bushes. Can I uh, move my character? Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Roll some kind of stealth would be nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
I do have a one in stealth, so I can just uh, click it. Mm -hmm. Which is the input value. I assume it's dexterity. Uh, let's see. So the way this uh, system here works is that stealth, you click that, and then you'd pick your attribute. In the case of stealth, that would probably be um, dexterity, I'd think. Yep, so let's do it. So it's like dexterity. It says modifiers. Yep, nothing. Okay. Um, I rolled a zero. Uh, yeah, that's zero degrees of success. So, so stealth is for dexterity. You oh, make yeah. a fair bit of noise as you're doing this. You I know, you you crunch through the branches, snapping twigs, all kinds of shit. Uh, you make a fair <laughs> bit of noise. Um, God damn it. <laughs> The guard looks up from his bonfire, uh, walks over to the sandbags, and just peers off into the darkness, uh, like he's trying, like he's looking for something. You know, he doesn't seem necessarily alarmed, and more like Probably an intrigued. Animal is. Yeah, the animal noises, basically. If you guys want, I can just walk up to him and dominate. <laughs> <laughs> At least he asked this time. <laughs> True enough. Give me well, a second, though. he is, um, I guess if he's right here at the at the edge of the woods, or I guess he's still over there. Um, so what does your dominate do, actually? What well, does it allow you to do? Before, and I'm looking at it now, but basically I can get them to do whatever I want as long as they can hear me and they can make eye contact. Not fucking really. Yeah, I um, okay, I wouldn't so want to... level, one, level one is cloud memory. Uh, I can make them forget that they saw something. Like I can feed on someone and then they forget that I did it. Mm -hmm. uh, level two is mesmerize. I can issue complex commands to a victim, and as long as they have the, uh, they look into my eyes and uh, uh, they, they understand the instructions, they can have to carry it out immediately. Do you speak Russian, V? Yeah, it's one of the languages I learned. Good. Then it might actually work. Uh, but before that, um, Rags also does a sneak, and he does so much, much better. Uh, he barely makes a sound as he moves up to the side of the building. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Is there a way for me to... Are there <clears throat> any windows on this west side that I can look through inside? Yep, there are three windows. Um, peeking in through them, you see a... Fairly brightly lit interior. Uh, there's <coughs> stacks of boxes, um, supplies, stuff like that. Um, you can hear voice, voices peeking in through the first window. Can I determine how many voices I hear? Hmm. Let's see. That would probably be perception from this position. All right. Let me see here. Oh, um, look or rationalize. The vampire's victims now believe that anything they do under the influence of the Dominic was a resort of their own free will and defend their actions, however absurd. So basically, I could just tell him to let us in. And then do what? Uh, <laughs> distract, distract his friends while we go in and shoot them, I guess. Well, hold on. Um, uh, let me ask this. So the second ability uh, for animalism is weight of the feather. Would mm -hmm. that allow me to sneak better because it makes me so light? And it even says it allows me to avoid triggering pressure sensors. Um, mm. Would that would that would that give me a little bonus for stealthing? Mm, yeah, I'd probably say so. All right. Um, all right. I'll keep that in mind for later. Um, so to determine voices, roll your uh, awareness check. All right. Yeah. Let me give it a look. So on this, it will be. <laughs> Hold on. I, I've got some artwork here. Yeah. First off, here here's our absentee Sargon. <laughs> <laughs> With this tea, that's great. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. And then here's uh <laughs> the joke. I can literally convince him to walk into a fire and <laughs> just puts a pistol in his mouth. We <laughs> oh. doing it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, episode Jesus. one we doing this so okay I, I have i have oh, level awareness i've got level three aspects i can probably figure out some stuff about these people mentally okay let's but let's finish what ranks is doing first then we'll move oh, on yep, sorry all sorry. right so input value would that be like um attributes? 
Uh, yep, the attribute. Um, in this case, I'd probably say that it's uh, composure, because, you know, you're trying to stay calm, right. listen, right. etc. Yeah, all right, that's fair enough. I like that. That's kind of nifty. And modifiers, when do, those, no. when do those apply? Actually, yeah, modifier one, because you're so sneaky. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was hor Wow, that was... Wow, shit. <laughs> I rolled seven dice, and I got... <laughs> and you, you got, got three it. ones. <laughs> um, right. Oh, wow. One two two one four one two. Okay, uh, you you have no fucking clue how many people is inside. Like you you no not even that. You come back. I mean, there's a fucking battalion in there as far as you're concerned. <laughs> well, there's at least two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, the, the the entire fucking Red Army is apparently in this fucking barracks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to get some way to ask him to come out and we can interrogate him? Oh, wait, okay, hold, so, up, hold up, hold up. Um, what's that, V? Do you want me to dominate him, ask him to come out, and we can interrogate him? I wouldn't, because I think that if you call out loud enough for him to hear it, there's a chance that somebody else might as well. By the time you get close enough to use your dominate, he might already have shot you. No, because it's on the German border. They're not going to open fire. We're not at war yet. Again, as I said, that that's, that's, a, that's a risk you're taking. That's a lot. That That's rousing a lot yeah. of suspicion. Okay, what type of role would I have to do so my character can figure out if he's going to open fire or not? <laughs> well, no, actually, actually, you can't you can't read his mind, sadly. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I know if I go at the US border, the Americans won't fire at me. Uh, yeah, like, yes, th this is a slightly different situation than going to the U.S. border. Yeah, so would my character manage to rationalize if, uh, you know, just by spotting me here? I actually would, have an ability to, to do that. I think that kind of question is up to the player to decide, not the... Well, I, I can sense the beast. That's an ability that I have. I can sense yeah. the beast's presence in mortals, vampires, and other supernaturals, gaining a sense of their nature, hunger, and hostility. Doesn't that only work on like doesn't nature mean the kind of beast they are rather than well, the well, kind of said, person they are? It's oh, sense, I'd say that would work for humans. Yeah. Um and we are animals after all. Uh but a win allows the user to sense the level of hostility in a target, whether the person is prepared to do harm or even determined to cause it, and determine whether they harbor a supernatural beast, marking them as a vampire or werewolf. Um yeah, these bonuses of crit success. Um it can be used both passively and actively. So I can actually do that. Yeah, I can sense his hostility, assuming that I get seven dice rolls and then mm -hmm. I, I can I can sense everything with share oh. the senses, level three aspects. Oh man, go for it. Who is trying to draw a swastika and failing horribly? <laughs> Probably V. Blame V. It's yellow, so I think it's V. But yeah. I'm not trying to draw a swastika, I'm just bored. <laughs> okay, so which one did you want? Level three, that's Scry the Soul. Uh, there's two abilities under level three Scry the Soul and Share the Senses. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Scry the Soul, Share the Senses, yes. yes. So, Share the Senses, uh, that is a reserve plus auspex. Mm -hmm. uh, resolve, excuse me, plus auspex. Yep. Uh, to can tap into the sense of another mortal of vampire seeing, hearing, or feeling what they do. The use still retains their own perceptions, still aware of their own surroundings. Whether tap into someone, hmm, strange that this power requires a line of sight to initiate. So you'll have to be able to, you'll have to, can you see him from there? Yeah, over the rock. Um, he, and he's got, the fire, he's got yeah. the firelight behind him, so. Yeah, you can see him. You can use to do that. What, what is this, like a rock or something? A pit? Uh, God damn it, all 20. Is what is what? Beat? Point A, point A, uh, This thing. Ah, uh, yes, it's just large rock. Okay, so I, I can so you, see. You probably have to move like over here. All right, I'll break a few more twigs on the way. Yep. But I can see him. Okay, yeah, you can see him. Twenty meters. That's not even that that far either. Okay. So resolve plus aspects. So uh, how would I actually set up this roll here? Uh, resolve. Mm-hmm. 
Let me just a find it on the sheet. All specs. Okay, so let's go to... Where is Resolve? That is a trait. Right, there it is. And then second attribute will be... A, will be it's not even there. Uh, the oh, I'll second, do... Uh, the second is all specs. So just do a Resolve roll and then an all specs roll. Oh, really? I wouldn't just put my all specs in as the modifier? I, no, um, I don't think so. Okay. No, it's it's nice rolls. I'm pretty sure. All right. And then roll all specs. Yep. Let me just go down there. Uh, I think you've set it. Yeah, you've set it to strength and firearms right now. Wait, have I? I don't. I yes. don't think so. I mean, when I uh, oh shit, that's right. Oh, I got. It. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I know what you mean. So. Yeah, just uh, and oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, smart. All right, so fair enough. I don't. Uh, it's, have... it's still set to firearms. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't find aspects in here. It just says discipline. <laughs> that's yes. all it says. <laughs> yeah, that'll probably work. All right, let's hope. So that rolled uh, five dice. That sounds about right. So I think that actually worked. Okay. Yep, that's three levels of success, which is good enough. You do indeed uh, reach out and share senses with the little Russian. Uh, do, can you understand Russian? Uh, no, I wouldn't be able to. I can translate for him. <laughs> Here, I'll just like mind meld with you, V, so you can feel this. He said... <laughs> Boobla, boobla, googla, boobla. Now we get to answer the age-old question. Do people of other countries think in different languages? Hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, you hear something like uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I for him. I okay, w here, I'll, I'll like whisper it to V. V, are you close by? Yeah. V, v, v come here. Yeah, I, I go closer and I, I okay. play as like... Uh, I will, I'll, I'll like whisper the Russian to V. Uh, v, pop into the D and D um, chat in Discord so I can give you access to the translation room. There's a translation room. Yes, I am in D and D chat. In no, the the, uh, the voice chat, so I can see you because you're set to away or something. Oh, like here. Uh, yep. So now I can give you what the fuck? <laughs> there, there, D and D version. Right now, you should see translation room. All right. Yep. So that's what he uh, thought. Yep. The uh, the Bolshevik is uh, a little bit bored at the moment with his guard duties. I see. I see. Okay. So he he still has no clue that we're that we're here, despite uh, the, the 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 breaks and leaves and stuff. I'm, I'm kind of starting to feel his uh, his emotion. <laughs> well, yep. can we do yeah. that? Uh, well, it just wanders back to the fire after a little while. Like okay. here's what I suggest, you all get into firing positions. I risk my mm. neck and I go here try to <laughs> dominate him. And if it doesn't work, you guys open fire and we do this mission. It's like I, I, no I, I have I have no idea what your plan is, by the way. I can I can see and hear what he does as well. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. how many can people I see? Uh, hold on, can I see anything from his eyes that that we can't see back here? Anything um, new information? Not really. Like he sees way less than you do because it's dark. So uh, like, I can also my character also does the uh, so we can actually start some combat. Oh, there, there. No, th we will start combat in just a second. There's, there's one more thing I want to I want to to see if I can tell. Can I tell through say like looking through the front window of this place or something, or just from his own knowledge how many people are here? Oh yeah, that's actually uh, that's. That's pretty good. Like, so you you're gonna try and figure out how many people he knows is there. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um. Would you be able to do that? Can tap into the sense of another mortal vampire, seeing here and feeling what they do. That's a perception. <sighs> mm, I don't think you can read like his knowledge. Hmm. You'd have to see them or hear them. Yeah. 
But well, can he see or hear them right now? Moving and, around inside, can he? He can't. No. Yeah. He, he doesn't like hear hear like them having a party in there or something. <laughs> Not really. No. Ah, okay. All right. A communist party. Yeah. Come on, guys. Get <laughs> position. All right. Well, that's all the information I can get, and I'll share it with with the team. But I think it's time for us to do some kind of fighting here. So I'm ready. Yeah. Before well, this- they wanted um, they wanted us to be quiet as we could, and they yeah, don't know we're here, just- so we don't we don't have to engage in combat. And combat is dangerous. Okay, I want to engage. In I, combat. I have I have <laughs> please. I have presence, and I can speak Russian, so I could just go up there and say, "Good evening. Have you heard the tenets of of glorious?" Uh, individualism quote unquote yeah that's what i want to do and i have dominate so you can't even well resist. i'm not talking about dominate i'm talking about something a bit more friendly <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah you could talk to you. maybe you could say oh so i've heard about this uh this uh, socialism communism uh, tell me more yeah i actually want to i want to go over here also if you could get their attention on you i could sneak in the window behind them with an smg i mean I've, i'm i'm Perfect. here sneaking Perfect. Yeah, so Arch, I wanna I'm gonna try sneaking over here. Okay, uh, sneak. I have a zero in sneak, so I'll probably. Oh. Now we've got some artwork here. <laughs> it's like the whole red <laughs> army is in there. <laughs> <laughs> and no, uh, it's it's just Dankula. <laughs> That's good. <though. laughs> Jesus. Uh, and V does his usual luck and rolls a 10. So that's four degrees of success. Jeez. Holy fuck, V. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm here. Uh, yep. Uh, v effortlessly sneaks up there, all, all quiet and shit. What's the distance? Uh, I wouldn't be able to see his eyes from here, right? 12 meters kind of far away. Not really any V. Look, he's staring into the fire. Yeah. Uh, I want to try making uh, an animal sound like an owl or something. Let's see what that would be perform. Um, yeah, performance. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm still linked to his mind, so I can I can tell if he notices V, right? Yeah, he hasn't noticed me yet. All right. Uh, performance plus, let's say, intelligence. Oh. No, performance plus animal keen. That makes more sense. So just roll both of them. I don't think I have animal keen. Um, well, fuck you then. Caca, or manipulation. Because I want to manipulate him to come over here. Uh, no. If you want to make fucking animal noises, that would be performance and animal key. All right. Uh, no, but I mean, like, the list doesn't allow me to have animal key on it. Y- you have yeah, it's, animal it's, a, it's under skills. Yep. It's right uh, there. At the top. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I roll. Okay, and the other one? Uh, Animal King is at zero, so. I think it still lets you roll. Yep. Okay, so uh, two degrees of success. Uh, Yeah, he does hear you. He's not particularly convinced that's that's a really strange sounding animal. (laughs) <laughs> like it's an owl that goes like Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I take a twig and I purposefully break it. Okay. Yeah, he's already heard you. Okay. <laughs> now but... you should make him more noises. Yeah, I want him to come over here. <laughs> okay. Oh, he uh, he rises to his feet. Stosa. And. Uh, <laughs> and he come comes over. Uh, yeah, you can probably see his eyes from here. Um, does he oh. notice you? Uh, he, he's 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 not particularly observant, I must say. Okay, <laughs> it's dominate time. It's dominate time. Wait, what happens to me when V dominates somebody that I'm inside the head of? Bad things. Bad things. That is a good question. God damn it. <laughs> the first fucking combat. I, uh, he doesn't notice you, but you can lock eyes with him and do your thing. Yeah. So the vampire can issue a complex command to a victim, and as long as they have the gaze and are relatively quiet in which this issued the instructions, they must be carried out immediately to the victim's best ability. 
and must not contain any conditional actions. Uh, for example, if you see Henry give him the document, as this would require the victims to exercise cognition. And so, this uh, is dominate level two, I believe. Let me, yeah, dominate level two, mesmerize. Mm -hmm. Um. So uh, I I order him to uh, come out into the woods. It's not quite that easy. <laughs> uh, manipulation plus dominant, dominate. Yeah, and I think because he's a mortal, he also gets a penalty. Who knows? Let's see. Uh, no role is required against an unprepared mortal victim. Commanding a resisting victim, a victim uh, that is a vampire uh, or has previously dominated, blah, 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 then you have to roll. Um, unprepared. I wouldn't call him unprepared. Like, he is on guard duty. Like, he's not just a civilian. <laughs> I guess, but he doesn't expect domination, you know, like magic and shit. Um, I'll give you a bonus to it, but he you'll have to rule. Like, he's right. not completely dumb. Okay, uh, let me find it where it is. Under core, I guess. Uh, what uh, is right. right. Go to discipline. Okay. Dominate. And then on the two boxes next there, you put um, a, 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 a manipulation plus uh, dominate. So you select manipulation like that, mm -hmm. and then discipline like this. See? Okay. And then you just roll that. Uh, modifier one. Yep. Uh, roll. I did. Hunger success. I guess you're hungry. <laughs> he 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 rolled to to rouse accidentally. Yeah, that, what happens that... when, when you're out of blood. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't think roll. that's what happened. Uh, which button did you press now? The dice next to dominate. Oh, ah, yeah. Don't pick that one. Uh, click the one on the far right. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, far right. There we go. That's more like it. Uh, did you add in the one bonus? Nope. Okay. Well, uh, I guess it's good enough. <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to roll intelligence. I mean, this he's a fucking Russian peasant. <laughs> he's not the smartest fucking bastard. <laughs> yeah, he's ever. a Russian. They're all peasants. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, not, he, he's not great at this. Um, yeah, you, you got him. <laughs> he didn't Everyone... say Russia didn't send their best. What? <laughs> Everyone, everyone's clipping you just saying far right right now. Yeah, silently. <laughs> so I'm saying silently walk into the woods. Um, hmm. Contain any conditional actions. Give them documents that require the victim to exercise cognition. So just walk silently into the woods. Okay. Well, I guess that fulfills it. Yeah. Actually, um, V, V, have him walk. Um, back to our camp so you can be captured. Yeah, I mean, you're going to capture him as he walks into the woods. I can't issue very complex... Uh... Yeah, Dev, earn that paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, he, he uh, guns walks like around carry. the barbed wire and starts walking towards the woods. <laughs> All right, well, guys... <laughs> All right, Luzu, do you want to jump him? He sees a small child in a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I'll I'll burst from from the bush and jump him. And Uzli, you're coming with me. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I walk uh, towards him as well. Yeah. So we'll <laughs> okay. all just we'll, we'll all just just dogpile this guy. Yeah, make sure. You think about the <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is just cruel and unusual in my opinion, but okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, it could um, have been a whole lot worse. So pick one of you to roll strength and brawl, I think. Oh, things That's... I'm really good at. It shouldn't be me. Oh, I have strength of one. I have a strength of one and a brawl of zero. <laughs> I've got strength two, brawl zero. Oh, man, and I got strength. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm an academic, okay? In that yeah. case, I'll keep manipulating him. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, v, V, do you have um, strength and brawl? No. And have either of those things? No, but I can yeah. use uh, a stronger manipulation thing. Um, 
Let's see. Got the level four. Uh, rationalize the vampire's victim now believe that anything they do under the influence of dominate was on their own free will and defend their actions, however absurd. Okay, we're, yeah, we're, that, we're that, killing that, him. That doesn't necessarily help here. Uh, no, can I, I, can wait, I just tell him to handcuff himself. Yeah, can I, can, I cast, can I cast that on him again? On the what? Rationalize? Yeah. Uh, I believe that anything they do now under the influence of was resolved of their own free will and defend their actions now absurd. Um, and you wonder, I mean, he doesn't have handcuffs. What, what do you want to try and force him to do? Uh, I want to convince him that he has he is a Nazi spy and uh, he's going to cooperate with us in order to uh, take over this guard post. Very clever. Uh, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so so speak how German? Much, he's going to rationalize it. Oh, that's a good question. Does he speak German? Um, he, he doesn't, but okay. <laughs> I can't understand my comrades, but okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, you know, he, he thinks he's a German spy. Yeah, I, place, uh, I place my hand on his shoulder and I tell him that he's part of a program, a sleeper agent. And uh, <laughs> he was actually, he's actually a German uh, married to a very beautiful Frau named Hansa. But we wiped his memory so that he is a, uh, he believes he's a Russian, but he's really not. Okay. He starts repeating f f Frau, Frau. <laughs> <laughs> he used to know German. He used to speak it, but uh, part of the indoctrination program, he forgot it. So he has to learn Russian instead. <laughs> we couldn't just reteach him German. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No. According to these rules, he he can't, he doesn't even have a save against this. He's just like, yeah, fuck it. Heil <laughs> uh, Hitler and everything, I guess. Yeah, sure. How many guardsmen are inside? Um, <laughs> what, are, what, is, what, what is your reconnaissance mission yielded? <laughs> uh, what's your reconnaissance mission wielded? Um, yeah, okay. Um, there's uh, there, there, there's his his buddy, or he thought he was his buddy, uh, Ivan. <laughs> he's inside. Um, they've got an engineer in there who's looking after the T twenty six. And there's two crew members. Then there's their their officer, and uh, some pompous big shot political commissar cunt who uh, took the big room. Hmm. Mm. So we got <laughs> how many? Uh, six. All right. What do you guys suggest? Should I ask him to go and shoot the officer? <laughs> um. <laughs> what I part mean, of maybe. quiet did you guys not understand? <laughs> um, it would be loud. That would not rouse German suspicion, though. But it would be loud. Um, yep. He could use a knife and just so treat it as if it was a traitor or a crazy man. Or mm -hmm. he could just uh, walk up to the officer and slice his throat. He doesn't have a knife. I can give him one. <laughs> okay. Here, take this SS dagger. They won't suspect a thing. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Hmm. So there's six more. Six more. Yeah. You know what? I actually give him a knife and I tell him try to kill them quietly. I go, <laughs> the only one, go behind them and slice their throat. <laughs> um. He he doesn't think that's overly likely to happen. <laughs> that yeah, that is a bit much. Um. Um. Maybe. Well, there. Hmm. What if I'm trying to think if there's anything that we can kind of do here? Yeah, uh, I can get him to call out one of his bodies, and I can dominate the second person as well. <laughs> Is there any limit to this power of yours? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Until the dice god says "fuck you," and one of them resists. <laughs> so there's six more. Which me and there is one. Da, da, da. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So that means there's now six of us, and it's now a six v six. And this mm. is turned into an elaborate game of 1940s themed Rainbow Six Siege. With um, the power to recruit the enny. <laughs> <yes. laughs> 
Man, uh, that tank. Um, anything we can do with the tank would be loud, though. So it's kind of out of it's out of it. Um, what, what would it take to get his bodies out? It, it, what? what? What would it take to get the officer out of the house? I've, I, I, he doesn't if, really know. I like, can just reporting to him and like, hey, there's something you gotta see out here. I guess. Yeah, do that and get the officer to talk to me to look into my eyes. Uh, I doubt it would be the officer to okay. go. I, I will sit here and basically get the officer alone to, to look towards this place when uh, when he comes up. I mean, okay, so he he is just saying, like, wouldn't it be better if I just told him that there's a German officer here to see him? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're a spy. <laughs> doesn't. Okay, so the nature of his work. Yeah, but you're you're at peace right now. Remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There, there is a German officer that uh, wants to talk with it. V does not understand this concept of peace. <laughs> Weren't you trying to convince me earlier that if I walk here, I'll be shot? Not me, no. <laughs> well, which one was it? Well, if that he was... spotted you and you didn't do it a good sneak, there's every chance you could have been shot. The fact that it didn't happen does not mean it was impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't want to necessarily um, burst anyone's bubble here, but we do have blood pools. So once you spend all of your blood, you can't use these magical abilities anymore. Uh, how much uh, did I spend for Dominate? Because it doesn't say. Uh, there's no... Is there a cost for fucking Mesmerize? Was that it? Yeah. Uh, cost one Rouse check. Oh, yeah, we should have made him do the, the Rouse actually first. Yeah, I forgot about that. What is Rouse? Uh, to try and get your blood powers going. And if I fail, the, the spell fails? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. Yep. yep. Uh, so, blood points, can, 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 they, they can be spent for healing damage. They can raise attributes temporarily. You build, you make ghouls with them. And some disciplines require blood points. I um, don't, it doesn't say blood points. Nope. Uh, sorry, blood pool is the is what it's called. Let's see. It just it's just one rouse check. Does rouse take blood automatically though? Because I mean that would make sense, but I, I think it's only like the, the the strongest abilities that actually require like a full spending of blood. Okay. Well, uh, you guys continue your conversation. I'll look it up. Um. So how about those Jews? <laughs> yeah. No. Tell him there's a civilian that uh, wants to speak. That that's outside. Okay, again, the soldier kind of protests like this. It's, it's a civilian. <laughs> now? Mm. The thing is, I want, I want the officer to come out alone without other soldiers. Mm -hmm. Or with only him. You know, like, I don't want the officer to come out with everyone in the guard post. What's your dominate level? Uh, four. That's good, but you were mentioning rationalize. Is that something you thought you had? Um, it's in the manual. Let me find it. I level see it in the wiki is level six. Yeah, it's level four rationalize, uh, page ah. 259. Okay, okay so the wiki is, is, not, is not accurate then because it's in the wiki, it's on it's on six. Yeah, uh, here, here we go. I got it. I got it here. Um, whenever you use that you guys gave me, when, whenever something requires a rouse check, you have to get um, a result of six or higher. If you <clears> don't, then you gain a point of hunger. And that that's that's the blood pool in this game. Oh. Like, um, third edition just gave you like like tw like ten or twenty points of blood, and you just spent those on spells. I see. Uh, so uh, no, uh, the hunger and blood is uh, separate. Oh, that, yeah. that was the the hunger success. It actually rolled the rouse for me, Arch. Oh, it did. Uh, yeah, and it was a success. Yeah, it's a rouse hunger. Oh, so you roll that me. one first and then you roll that one. Okay, that makes sense ish. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be waiting here and uh, tell the uh, the officer that there is a uh, German officer of uh, high rank that wants to talk with him. Okay. Uh, where would you be hiding, you said? Uh, same spot here. Okay, so you're going to talk to him and. Oh, okay. The soldiers may be mildly confused by this, but... I, I want to dominate the officer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, he heads off inside. 
Right. I sit there. <laughs> I'll just squat in the bush and wait a minute for him to come out. Basically. Uh, I, I sit all straight like, you know, like uh, Nazi fashion, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, eventually the officer comes out and you can hear the two conversing. Um, so the officer is looking at him and goes like, oh, get you on. The uh, soldier just kind of shrugs. <laughs> and? Well, I wait for them to come here. Okay. I'm not allowed to go on Russian territory. <laughs> All right. Uh, the soldier points towards the corner and goes on Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the, the officer just looks at him quizzically, like, "What?" <laughs> I, I make a loud cough, like. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> the officer just looks at him like Tipian. What, what are they saying? Because I understand Russian. Uh, yeah, this is the translation thing. Oh. Let me check it out. <laughs> yeah, the goes the soldier. <laughs> um, well, I, I wait for him to convince the officer. He'll be waiting a while, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, he just on the svisni notam. I'm probably butchering Russian, but I'm doing my best. Mm. Oh, there will be some Russian butchering. <laughs> The officer just looks at him like he's fucking crazy. I, I walk over here so that uh, the the officer sees me. Uh, let's see. All right, you walk over. Okay, you you stand up. You kind of lean around the side of the structure, I guess. Why wouldn't you just stand in the road like a normal human fucking being? Like, God, you're making yourself so suspicious. Well, it's, it's the map that you drew, like. Why is there just a small barb fence here and the road is empty? You know, like I'm, I don't know. A road, the purpose of a road is for the allowing of. of okay. uh, in, in that case, put me in the road because my character would know about it. A road? Yes, we would all know about those. <laughs> yes, you would all know about that. That's not in game character knowledge. That's basic <laughs> fucking <laughs> understanding. I mean, what look, are these I, roads you speak I, of? This is the border, right? Why isn't there a fence on the road or something? Because you're at fucking peace, you have a not you have a cooperation treaty, and the Russians are under orders to not do anything to piss you off. All right, fair enough. I didn't know that, so I'll I'll just sit here then. Okay, yeah, the Nazis famous for keeping their uh, their peace treaties. You walk <laughs> around just really strangely, and the officer just looks at you like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he sighs like visibly annoyed and. Uh, he he comes over. We um, he he tries speaking uh, German, you know, a few words to you. Uh, you know, he's asking what you want, basically. Yeah, I say, in we we had the fugitive that we believed hopped the border, and as I say this, I try to dominate him. Okay, so rouse check first. Uh, I think it's when I do the dominate, it does the rouse check automatically. Let's see. Actually, so let's uh, let's do a little test of this so we don't have to do it in the future. So first, you have the um, the build itself. Uh, Ezri, you, is this one? This is yours. Okay, where's your dominate? There's your dominate. So if you roll just that, what happens? Yeah, that's the rouse. So the one on the the left, that's the rouse. So you roll that, and then you roll the one on the uh, uh, right. not far right. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the dominate. First, you roll the rouse. Uh, you rolled it for me. No, V, I did not. <laughs> I was just testing. Uh, <laughs> there you go. All right, and that's also a critical success on the rouse right there. Yeah. That's... Uh, four degrees of success. So, yep, he's pretty badly dominated. Let's see. Uh, can he resist? He needs. Uh, there's, it's mathematically impossible. Oh, no, there is actually. If he rolls two tens, he has a chance. 
<laughs> Fucking likely. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Uh, it, close. He rolled one ten, but no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got, I got, uh, I got some artwork here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh yeah. jesus i'm uh, i'm going to tell him that he's going to inform his men that they're on a secret mission to capture a <laughs> fugitive that defected towards the german ranks and they have to capture him without causing a international incident so they have to just be quiet and go all of them go towards um i suppose i will give him the coordinates where the german outpost is that little cabin little log cabin wait what what <laughs> i'll uh okay so i tell them that he needs to go in the cabin and tell all of his men every single one that they're on a secret mission from high command that a Russians, uh, a German spy escaped their uh, territory and went into German territory. And they have to capture him quietly before he reaches the, uh, the Nazi camp. Okay. And I tell him that the place they, they need to go is the, the German base. So they're basically just all going to walk out towards the German base. And they're under strict orders not to shoot any Germans because that would cause an international incident. <laughs> okay, okay, right. But that does constitute an invasion. <laughs> I mean, okay, fair, fair enough. Is, okay. Daddy, how did World War II begin? Well, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to tell the guy. With the, we're going to tell the guy with the radio that. Uh, the people uh, from the outpost have been hypnotized and they're going to just walk towards the rank. So they need to set up an ambush and just capture them quietly. All right. Um, interesting <laughs> approach, right? All right. Okay. Uh, the officer goes off with his little dude in tow. Um, okay. Um, he goes inside. I, I make myself scarce. <laughs> All right. Yeah, come come back to us in the bush here, V. And I'll just and I'll just ask you what the hell that was. <laughs> well, they're about to surrender to to our soldiers. Um. All right. So, a uh, minute passes. Uh, another minute passes. Uh, some loud. <laughs> Shouting can be heard from inside the the house. <laughs> um, you can't quite hear, you know, what's being said. Really, oh, oh, hold, hold on. My Auspex is still running. So, what's <laughs> what is he feeling right now? The, the guy that I have Auspex over. Um, <laughs> annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> Aspirate like act. It, it, he's he's just kind of like, oh god, this he is not going to work. Guy thinks that he's going home. <laughs> yeah, I, what, what, what can I see in there? Because I, I can still see stuff. Uh, I, oh yeah, I, okay, yeah. You yeah. can you can see the officer arguing with the commissar <laughs> really loudly, like, no, no, we got to find a spy. And the commissar, like, what fucking spy? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, you you can't fucking understand a word what they're saying, can you? You no, little I, I I will I will speak I will speak it to V, and V will translate for us. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to bother translating this whole fucking conversation. <laughs> but yeah, like the commissar is just... He, he doesn't know what the fuck is going on anymore. Um, now, I do need to do a wits and awareness <laughs> test now for the officer, because he's starting to wonder, too, what the fuck's going on. Uh, no, the officer will rationalize it, no matter what. Yeah, but he's being pushed on his beliefs now, so wits plus awareness for him. <laughs> So it's it's pretty hard though. Difficulty five. So uh, let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. Four. Yeah. No. Okay, Dev. Um, the officer too is now like no, no. There, there's a spy. <laughs> hey. Oh God. Here, there's some more artwork. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I like how you have the blurred swastikas. <laughs> yeah, the blurred swastikas. Erase them from history. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, the, the officer is starting to doubt what the fuck he's on about too now. And the rifleman is just getting more and more like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so we've succeeded in pranking them basically we have sown dissension within the ranks <laughs> i think it's about to unfurl revolution yeah no the yeah. officer is like no, no no i always i was told this um by someone <laughs> <laughs> and he a like idea but i think it was a little bit too ambitious <laughs> well, if if his plan it wasn't a bad plan. I, he yeah. he he got lucky with his uh, wits awareness, so he kind of started questioning things as well. But I mean, there's a commissar in there. He's he he should know if there really was a spy. All right, going going back here. I I assumed that the guy that we got out was the highest ranking guy in there. Well, the highest ranking military man, but political officers. Yeah, I I go back here on the road. Uh, okay, I wait for them to come out. All right, would you okay? Um, Dev can tell you they're not really about to come out. He doesn't know where he got this idea from. I mean, if we set fire to the house, would it be considered done quietly? Yes, it would be considered done brightly and the screaming. <laughs> well, I don't know, guys. Like, <laughs> capture the guard post. Well, sir, we have denied <laughs> the enemy access to the guard post. <laughs> well, um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. let me actually do, do a quick roll here. Let's see. So, well, I mean, the, maybe it would look like an accident. All right, the the rifleman decides that oh no no it, yeah we we heard this from the Germans, <laughs> <laughs> and now the commissar is getting really like what the fuck. <laughs> okay, can, can I? Can, we should at this point we should just sneak up, get some fire, and then light the place on fire because there's, there's a, a bonfire right there. You know the fire is really dangerous for vampires, right? Yeah, but nonetheless, <laughs> and yeah, it's it will take a little normal. while before this house catches blaze. Well, hold let, on, hey, I, well, I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, Fires are on, quick. I, I've got, I've got an idea here. V, you're closest, so you handle the fire. The three of us will just go and block off all the exits. Hold on, I okay. just want to talk with the commissar, and then I want us. I have the officer and the commissar. They will surrender. This, okay, so <laughs> with the fire thing, I, I don't know if our orders implied that this would be an acceptable way to neutral I feel like it would be thinking the same thing. Yeah, it, I, I think if, if our first a, mission was not in us destroying the target we were supposed to capture, we might not be very I mean, well we, liked. I mean we if we rode back in a tank, we would be like, all right, on the plus side, we got mm -hmm. the tank. <laughs> but I, I, it, I, it would be a creative interpretation of orders. Yeah, I I don't think I'm down with the 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 conflagration strategy. Yeah, it would probably be more quiet to shoot them inside the house than setting fire to it because you can see the fire a while away. Yeah, um, but muffled gunshots on the inside of a building, yeah, not terribly loud from the outside. Is, fur enough in the woods. Is the is the commissar coming out anytime soon? Well, uh, are you guys going to move up with me, or are you going to sit in the? The um, wait, I'll tell you what, I will, I think one to two of us, one or two of us should go around the back so that we can see in through the windows and then fire in oh. through the windows. Yeah. Well, you know oh. If we can, if we can oh, convince actually, them all uh, to come outside and no, we have no, 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 the no. tank, then we can just point the tank gun at them and they'll probably surrender quite quickly. Question, actually. Arch, should I have knowledge of the interior layout of the building from looking in through all the windows? No, but that um, yeah, I should because I, I'm seeing through his eyes. I know, I know what it's what's in there. Um, that's true. Actually, let me uh, da, 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 da. let me just turn turn. Oh, that's turn order. <laughs> so yeah, you can indeed see inside the building at least as much as they can see. So I'll move you over to that because you'll just tell everybody else what's in there. Um, so the officer and the commissar are still just arguing with one another, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Um, 
there's a, a tank crewman sitting by one of the tables and another rifleman just kind of intrigued by what the fuck this is. <laughs> so, do you want to, like, uh, uh, the, the two people who didn't fail their stealth roll, so that's Uzulu and Regs, go around back, take positions at the windows, V and I will go up front? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's a do grenade that. wouldn't be too bad right now. It's a shame they didn't have any. <laughs> Would have been somewhat loud. Yeah, 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 yeah but only, only once. The Dominic guys won't attack me, right? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It might be a little bit uh, uh, un un unentranced un un right now, unenthralled. Can I transform into a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yes, nope. but not now. It needs oh, some. Okay. Uh, it needs some rituals. I'm afraid. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> right, Uzulu, uh, do a stealth test. Are we are we are we doing this then? Are we doing yeah. the uh, sneak around the outside plan? Yeah. Still, I, I would prefer if I could get the commissar because then it would be like the most stealthy thing ever imaginable, and it will give us points with. Well, the... we'll, we'll save that for episode two. <laughs> the most stealthy thing imaginable. Maybe. Yeah, like no gunfires, no shots, no nothing. Just some people coming up and. Swimming. I know S rank mission. I got you, man. <laughs> All the Panther points. At the same time, having you two sneak behind will uh, we'll at least a, give us good, like a backup plan, right? Out, yeah, then yeah. machine gun fire from the windows yeah. generally effective. So, yeah, <laughs> but if we can get them to surrender or um, okay, to, to so go with V's plan. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce the time limit to force decisions in a timely manner. <laughs> so, yes, thank you. Make a decision within a minute. Uzlu roll stealth. Well, uh, yeah, either way, I might as well be in position. So, fine. Uh, which attribute do I click for that? Dexterity? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, stealth dexterity. So yeah. you click stealth and then choose dexterity. Uh, what did you say that the modifier stat was for that? No modifier. Okay. Yay. Yay. Ouch. I rolled a one. Uh, well, the campaign's beginning as I mean for it to go on. <laughs> yes, uh, you make an incredible amount of noise outside. <laughs> um, right. Are they even going to hear you because of all the yelling? I mean, that was that was a lot of noise. I don't know what you just did, but it was loud. <laughs> Knock a few trees over on your way? Possibly. Okay, so... Yeah, the, the comments I was like, well, what was that? What What is actually going on here? Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell he would actually like really do in this situation because he barely understands what the fuck's going on either. Maybe he'll come out the front and look at v and look at Veen, and V can do his thing. So, see, I, the distraction was deliberate. I deliberately <laughs> rolled a one. I, I, I like it how the strategy here is. Oh, there's six enemies. Well, we'll just do six dominates then. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. I I can sense them sensing that the jig is up, right? Uh, they definitely heard something there. Okay, so I, I I have a feeling that the jig is up. I'm gonna run towards the tank. I no 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 no. I don't think so. I just think they're they're suspicious. They're on yeah. alert. But with all the commotion and confusion, I don't really know if they know exactly what to do. No, I, I, hold on. I, I am hoping that the keys are still in the tank, so I'm running to the tank. Can you? Okay. Can okay. you drive a tank? Um, I can probably just fire it. Turn it and can fire you, it. In it in Russian. In, right? Can you <laughs> can you turn the tank in Russian? Okay, so you're gonna run towards the tank. That'll take you uh, sixty meters. You can sprint that pretty fucking quickly uh, before yeah. they decide what's gonna happen. Anyways, all right. Um, now, how, how are movement you, penalties for being a child? How, how are you gonna get inside the tank? Um, is the top open? No. Is it open at all? No. Is, oh, you, is uh, the yeah. car in? Do you, do you know which openings to gain entrance in the tank? Uh, I figure it was just going to be the top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you crawl onto the top. There's metal things there. Okay, no, no circular hatches. Uh, no, actually, not on the T twenty six. Funnily enough. Um, oh, okay. Roll, I guess. Um, just to figure out how to get into a fucking tank. Technology. Um, drive and technology, surely. 
And not necessarily. Technology already operating. He's just trying to get into the damn thing now. Drive and intelligence, maybe, because I'm trying to. Drive and wits, I think, actually, because you're trying to you know okay. figure out a problem. And then no modifier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two degrees of success. Mm. You move the turret two degrees. <laughs> I'd probably say no. No. You may you mess around with the flowers and you can't figure out how to get it open. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> well, oh, I guess I that's a, what I'm doing. <laughs> a child on top of the tank. I'm, um... Well, I guess while this is all going on, I'm still kind of outside the window, just barely peering in. And I got my SMG ready, just in case. I'm, yep. I'm just kind of like the backup shit hits the fan. I'm the oh crap button. So... All right. Um, oh. So with all of the commotion going on, um, the the commissar comes outside. Ah, finally. Ah, shit. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> um, and, any any chance that I can like leap from the tank to the roof? No, hold on. As he as he comes outside, I look towards him and I go, "Tovarish." Tovarish. Tovarish. All right. He brings <laughs> with him one of the other uh, rifle dudes as well. Um, the first thing when he comes out, he sees the child on top of the fucking tank. <laughs> There's no chance for me to like try and roll off or something last second. Um, let's see. Well, uh, I'd like to see the map of the inside of the house and nothing outside. Because I haven't moved you yet. Stop okay. being so impatient, you terrible human. Um, right, you can try athletics and dexterity, I guess. I have to leap off the roof of the tank onto the house. Maybe they won't see me, hopefully. Okay, athletics, which I have a zero in, and dexterity, which I have a two in. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll probably need two degrees of success at least here. No, I got nothing. <laughs> right, you fall fucking flat on your face off the side of the tank. No, that's fine, because I have an excuse to uh, talk with the tank. <laughs> I planned for this. I have an excuse. Yeah, yeah I, I've been tracking your child all the way past the border, and I can't get into it. Too. Okay, the child in the fucking Wehrmacht uniform. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the officer is confused, fuckless right now. He said, "What even? What?" <laughs> I, I, I scream towards him, Tavarish. <laughs> like, it's like, okay, there's a fucking officer over there. I go, okay. So. <laughs> The commissar is just shaking his head like this is this is above my pay grade. Um, the commissar then says something um, uh, like he's okay. Hmm. I speak While this is happening, I'm I'd like to continue walking around the back and get into position. My character isn't there yet. Okay, yeah, you can. I, I say in, uh, in flawless Russian, uh, Tavarish Commissar, may I have a word? <laughs> or not there yet. God damn it, old Yeah, I, I've, got, I've got some artwork here. <laughs> 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 oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible. Terrible in every way. Um, right, the, the commissar is just getting exasperated at this point. Um, see, is roll 20 roll loaded again? It has. How fucking lovely. So, you're we might be about to get Saigon back there. That's about the window. Oh, um, while this is going on, mm -hmm. this might be, um, it was a Lou and um, my opportunity to look in and yeah. see there's only two left inside the building, right? Uh, you can only see one guy, actually. So your view right now is just uh, this. There's one tank crewman just sitting by the table. All right. Huh. And I now, guess... one of us can, can get guess, in reasonably quietly. This is open, right? It's not a wall? Um, yes. In fact, you can see that area. Uh, this. No, oh, like a closet, a storeroom. Mm-hmm. Are we looking in at closed windows or open windows? Uh, they're closed, but are they locked? 
Well, I suppose one of us could try them, though with the guy's right near us, so he might hear it. Hmm. Well, Let you can try a entry through this window, um, which would probably be stealth and dexterity, probably, just straight up. I didn't give it an attempt. Let me take a Stealth look. and dexterity, what do I have on those? Uh, a grand total of nothing and... Where's dexterity? Stealth uh, is at some point. See... Oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah, I have nothing on stealth and one on dexterity. Uh, Rags has great dexterity. What's your stealth? Yeah, my dexterity oh. is three. I have no stealth, though. Um, he's unaware, so that would make it easier, but it would probably require, I'd say, probably three degrees of success to do so, like, properly well, without him noticing at all. Hmm... I don't know. And there's no back door? Is there a back door? No. Hmm. Well? Can you open the window can... from the outside? Yeah, is it even locked at all? It is not. All right. Can um, maybe get him to come to the window and uh, then I'll just hold up the gun and see if, he, uh, see if he freezes and then slowly open the window. He'll know we're opening it, but he can't do anything. Well... If what you'd like to do, if we open the window and we just go inside, we could just do the same thing. And there's, well, but we ha we have one guy who's unaccounted for, I believe. Uh, the rifleman went outside. All right, so there's four outside, and but there's five in total. Oh, okay. I thought there, there were six. six in total. I thought there were six. Yeah, I heard six earlier, but it looks like there's five. Are you like Marvel? Did you forget a scroll? I like no one gets that one. Yeah, well, I need uh, so. Arch, was there six or? So yeah. one of them. I heard so, six. so one of them. I think one of them manages to slip away somewhere and is now like looking for something or someone. So you guys might want to. Yeah, we have an unaccounted for communist. Is, is yeah. the, start the worst the kind of communist. Is he, is he ignoring me? <laughs> We're still dealing with what uh, these guys are doing. Who's low? What do you think? Uh, I think... Um, so, okay, so either we get him to come to the window or we try the window now. Even if we try the window and fail, we can still point the gun at him, but he's less likely to respond with serenity if we point the gun at him from a distance after he's just heard a strange noise. So we distract him to the window, and then... When we point the gun at him through the window, he probably will stop because there's a gun know, in his face, even though there's glass. And then we, we slowly open the window fairly quietly. If he alarms, then, I mean, we're, we're kind of fucked then, but he'll get shot, so he probably won't. So I, I imagine he's not suicidal, yeah. What mm -hmm. you want to do is basically point the weapon at him and then try to open the window so that if he hears something and turns, then you'll have him covered and you'll be like, sure, something yeah, well, like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea, but that's not what I mean at all. Okay. Uh, what I mean is, we create a noise outside so that he comes to the window, mm -hmm. and then when he's right up close to us, we suddenly pop up and point the guns at him. He probably will freeze in that moment, and then we can open the window while we've got him covered. And I have an awareness of four, so I'll know when he's there. Unless okay. I fail seven dice rolls again. <laughs> I have a performance <laughs> of three, so I can perform something outside that will cause him to come to the window. That's a good idea. Uh, j just start singing the anthem, the Nazi anthem. All right. Um, no, maybe. <laughs> you have me at a disadvantage, V. I don't know it by heart. I mean, if we're lucky, he might even open the window. Maybe to look outside. That's very true. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, shall we exactly give it a go? Do. Yeah, what exactly should I perform then? Nazi anthem, communist anthem, or Soviet anthem, uh, maybe just, an animal sound. Just tap the window, man. Tapping on the window what isn't it? really good to require rule. So you're gonna you're gonna though. do that then, that's the plan. I think so. Um would it like can we combat. see if I can bullshit the commissar first? If I get the commissar as well, then all of them. Just will before fall. you do it. 
just before you do, I've decided what I'll do. My character has Russian academic. Obviously, he has multiple languages. So, and I have a performance. So, what I do is I'm going to say something in Russian, like uh, "Comrade, uh, have a look at this." But if you want to do your thing before we actually do that, that's fine. But that is what we're going to do, I think. Yeah, because if I get the commissar, it's best if the other guys don't know you're there. Sure. All right. and, go and ahead. If, yeah, and if things go bad, we can do our plan. Um, so yeah, let's give it a shot. We're at the ready. Okay. Um, right. Well, uh, the commissar, when he steps out and sees the little chairman climbing on the tank and the other officer shouting at them. Um, let's see. Oh, God. Was uh, das Deutsches Kinder im der Panzer? See. Um, okay, so he, he goes up, he looks just... Jeva tete za ja jazvonski vashta kvatiru. So, he's basically saying, like, fuck this. I'm, I'm calling headquarters. This is getting retarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's not something we want to happen. That's bad. So, um, he turns on a dime, basically, and heads back inside. He's not even going to address me? No, he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's getting confused, and he knows something is wrong, but he doesn't know fucking what. And so he wishes to pass the responsibility for any decision he has to make onto somebody else. He doesn't even try to apprehend the little girl? No, like he's under a strict order like all other Russians to not do anything to provoke the Germans. So, again, <laughs> he, he wants to pass the buck right now. Well, seeing as he doesn't do anything, I'll just walk up to him. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can go up to the outside of it. Yeah, to to the commissar? And he's already inside. In, in the right the door. Inside, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's unlikely to open it. He is heading for uh, his room. His room enclosed so that we could do our operation without him noticing once he gets there. Most uh, there are no windows in it. It's the room uh, right down there. This is a room here. Oh, we can't see what you're pointing at. Um, shit. Oh, God. Switching the between the these screens right is the getting annoying. Mm. <laughs> right. He's, he's in... This is his room down there. Looks like a storage room. Or is it beyond the storage room? It's beyond the storage room. Okay, fair That's enough. And it's enclosed. So, so once there. he gets there, I guess we can do our, our little operation. Uh, yes, but if, if there's a radio in there... Yeah, we need to stop him before that happens. Yeah, uh, can I speak with my spy? Uh, sh sure. You better make it quick. Yeah, I give him a knife, and I tell him, kill the commissar. Okay, now you push the officer a bit too fucking far. He already... No, he's already no, no, not doubting. No, 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 not the officer. No, no, the yeah, officer. but you, you just told him to kill the commissar right in front of him. Arch! <laughs> I wanted to talk with the, the the one who thinks he's a Nazi spy in private. You no, you didn't say it. that, V. You said, can I talk with my soldier? <laughs> yes, I give him a knife and tell him to kill the commissar. Uh, okay, well, I want to do it discreetly. No, V, no. I am going to punish you when you do something dumb like this from now on. Because that <laughs> way okay, you, did, you did kind of run into it. Okay, you know, so I tried to dominate him. Again, okay, if... the, the, the officer draws his pistol, like, what the fuck? And uh, the, the guy with the <laughs> rifle, too, is like, no, what? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, did I try to dominate the officer again? Oh, yeah, dominate. That'll solve every problem. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a long oh, roll. Well, it kind of I guess with a V roll, it fucking will. Oh, you still got to uh, do your rouse check. I did. No, you didn't. Oh. I thought it's all included. No, no, it isn't. It's success anyway. So, but you've, you've already dominated him. You can't re-dominate him. He is already dominated. Dominate. It's just that this is the part of rationalize where he's starting to question himself. No, I can basically put another idea in his head. I don't think so. I don't think this stacks infinitely. <laughs> Let's spin around now. Jump. To be Dude. fair, with that roll, maybe it does. <laughs> 
If not, I'll just use cloud memory on him and make him forget the fact that I asked the, the guardsman to kill the uh, commissar. <laughs> There's two. There's two of them. Speaking of, so let me check here. So this is masquerade threat low. Oh, God. What's... Oh, okay. <laughs> Have like, you broken you're, the masquerade? You're now, you gave him that. And now you're trying to dominate him again, which is just like, you know, forget or dominate something. The rifleman is right fucking there. Yeah, but he thinks he's an Nazi spy. No, there are two riflemen, Pete. And he's getting it, real fucking jumpy. Arch, it's really difficult to follow if you have me in the house. I don't know what's going on outside. Oh, God damn it! Why, <laughs> why do you make oh, me oh. do this shit? Oh, I see. Now, that, now it makes sense. You I, well, to be fair, action. you have already seen that Rothman, and I've stated on several occasions that he did come out with them. So I'm, I'm still there blaming you. There were four people out there. All right. Okay, yeah. so just to describe the situation, the, the officer is not had. This is getting a bit too fucking crazy. It, if he was still non questioning, then sure, but he is. And the other rifleman is really starting to freak the fuck out. Like, what even the hell is going on? Considering that we're supposed to be badass Nazi vampire elite crack unit, this is a fucking clown show. <laughs> well, I mean, it's gone relatively well up until this point, but V is pushing his luck a bit. Well, no, because I, I just wanted Episode to talk one. in private, okay. and apparently okay, I, okay, yeah. I talk with my guy, and you're like, yes, and I tell you what he wants, like, oh, there's other free guys around you, and they heard you. But yeah, you you knew they were there. I've shown you this screen. Oh, fine. I I obviously wanted to talk with him in private, but if you obviously no no V no V, I will punish you when you say. Right, random right. I will use forgetful mind on uh, on the after to forget what I just said. <laughs> it's, it's just a reset button. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> do another okay, now, now you have to do two resets on the other rifleman. <laughs> the best campaign. It's, it's going to be a long world war. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Cloud memory. Um, charisma plus dominate. We may not end the war, but we'll hell of a start it. <laughs> it was at that point. Yep. Arch uh, oh, you I failed the rouse. <laughs> that means you just get one hunger point. Yep, you get one point of hunger. But, but uh -oh, you can still do the right, Oh, never mind. I see it. Okay. Yeah, yep. You can you can still do the ability, but you just get a hunger point now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, then roll the ability. Charisma plus dominate. Okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, shit. All right. Two degrees of success. He does get a save on this. Let's see. Uh, he fails. Okay, uh, so you just look him in the eyes and goes, forget, and the officer just drops his pistol, like, what the fuck am I doing? Um, the rifleman is now shouting in Russian, like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Well, it's his turn then, let's see. Um, um <laughs> yeah, you turn towards him, he raises his mosin. I, I, I raise Would my you hand. like to do something? Yeah, I raise my hand and I look towards the officer, you know, like, hey, uh, is, is this supposed to shoot a German? <laughs> He's too scared to really give a shit right now. No, <laughs> you you made a god in this man. I don't think authority is going to change that. Yeah, I raise my hand as he's surrendering, you know, like, don't um, I, I'm going to get so. All right, what's going to happen now is just, just dominate him. V. Ooh, you ooh, guys I'll be in the next should have like arch. a. Like a plan <laughs> for what's going to happen now, because I'm going to do a dice roll for this guy. He's scared out of his fucking wits. A creepy dude is making his buddies act all fucking strange. He just handed a knife to his one of his friends. Go kill the commissar. He is an inch away from pulling the trigger. Oh, point blank on me. By the way, the guy I told to kill the commissar should actually do it because <laughs> he he's still under my control, and the officer forgot. Oh yeah, okay. that, that'll, that, that's that, a good that point. Off he wanders, knife in hand. <laughs> oh my that, god! We're going to push the other guy over the limit. Right? Oh, and seconds later, the crack of a mozzin <laughs> resounds <laughs> through the forest. All right, V, roll for um, bullet resistance. <laughs> yes, basically. Uh, right, yeah, he he, he shoots you. Um, do do I have time to dominate him before he shoots me, or <laughs> no, really, no. Dominated by a dominate, yeah. just a crumb, please, the lady. How, how much damage do I take? Is there any dodge skill or anything like that? Um, All right, Uzalu, it looks like our moment's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> I think that I, was the signal for things they, went terribly wrong. I, I do love this because th this has really been just kind of a dancing at the edge, just trying <laughs> to push it. And I mean, it wasn't a bad idea, but I think the constant reliance on dominate is running its course. Speaking of which, chat's recommending that you dominate the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> no, turn around. So, to be honest, start retro, retro list. Star. If I think list, you know what to do. Start dies, it's worth it because it's going to radio for help, and that's not quietly done. So yeah, I agree. We need to hurry up, but we don't need to hurry up and die. Okay. It's not quite the same thing. So once, yeah. once V takes his damage, I'd like to do an action here because it's been a little bit. Yeah, we're I'd we're like gonna do a turn to turn orders from. now. I think. All right. Um, how the fuck do you have initiative in this game? <laughs> Good question. And by the way, if I kill the ball, uh, masquerade is lifted. Like I don't break the masquerade, right? Right. <laughs> it's true, but <laughs> not necessarily the way you want to do it. Oh, at this point, I guess it's our only choice. It is now. I do hate five e. It's barely got rules for fucking combat. It's okay. I have a little girl with a pistol. <laughs> that is true. Even though in the picture she's got a massive sniper rifle. Which is this it, it's, <laughs> it's resting on the ground. She can't hold it. He's just balancing. It's just it. a prop. Yeah. It's just a couple cut out. Right. So he shoots V. He shoots V once. Um, you take four points of damage. Uh, this is blunt damage, which vampires don't give too much of a shit about. So you get to cut that in half. So just two points, right? Two points. And I have six in total. Mm -hmm. So that's four. All right. Seeing um, a guy, seeing a guy barely react to being shot with a rifle is definitely. No, 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 no. Like, I, I'm what's your well? What's your perform? Can you pretend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To... I, I want to perform that I'm dead. Actually. Okay. So, um, okay. So, well, one uh, before that, that's that's a good idea. But before, that. so you see your health bar, yeah, yeah. This is just basic bullshit damage, which isn't particularly dangerous to you. So just click it once, so you see the line there. Because that shows that you can heal this. Uh, the slash? Oh, right. yeah, I, I see what well, you mean, yeah. What's like your red. health bar, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Red is full. Yeah. Now you've taken just basic damage, which isn't particularly dangerous to you, so just click it once and you get the slash. That's like so if, temp, I, if, I suck someone, if I suck someone, I get the health back, yeah? You can heal out of this fairly easily and quickly. All right. Um, and you want to perform... Perform dead, yeah. Perform dead, okay. Uh, sure, performance plus wit, I'd probably say. Oh, hold on, I, I misclicked. Uh, performance. Uh, now now would be the good time for Sargon to come back, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, Sargon, if he's getting himself shot. Um, right, five, five fucking degrees of success. Yeah, you make it look good. I mean, you, you roll with the bullet and go down. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the rifleman is like, oh, oh what? Hey, he's, he steps closer. What? Uh, he's panicking too, poor bastard. What about the officer? <clears throat> he got all the soldiers through the nuts. So now I'm going to add uh, add turns to this. That rifleman was called Franz Ferdinand. Well, he wait, isn't um, should combat be considered <laughs> over for the moment? No, it's starting. No, because now we're going to start like doing actions one by one to get a little bit of order on it, since you know this is important, kind of. All right. We've got three different people, two different groups trying to do three different things. Basically, yes. So we're going to do a little bit of order here. And we don't even have our final party member either. Mm -hmm. So let's... Um... Ugh, fucking 5e barely has rules for combat. It's like scenes, the lasting of a scene. Uh, one, two, and three done combat. So basically, I should just ask you all to do one dice roll now, and we'll determine the entire fucking thing from that. That's kind of stupid, though. It is. It's it's dumb. A 1d20. We get no advantages for anything. It's just but, a random... Okay. Well, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. Should it not be based off of... Well, here, let's see. Yes, we're, we're going to do it a bit more advanced than that. Um, athletics right. or awareness or maybe dexterity. So, um, uh, even wit. character has an initiative rating equal to their composure plus awareness. That's your initiative. That seems fair. Composure okay. plus awareness. That's a trait plus a skill. I guess we just roll both of them separately? Um, so, a plus six. Excellent. Awareness. No, uh, go composure. 
and then oh it doesn't do that oh, god that's a bit trippy no, no, no. yeah you roll, roll you roll awareness and then you choose composure as the input value all right all right excellent. oh can you do that oh perfect yep. yeah that'll watch that and then no, no modifiers. modifiers what would modifiers be for this for future reference would they be like getting the jump on people or surprising them or catching them off guard or yeah, actually, preparing an ambush. Let, yeah, could I get a plus one to mine because I am in fact face first on the ground outside of this guy's line of sight? Uh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> do the Uzulu and I do we get a plus one because we are probably. preparing for an ambush? Yes, I'd probably give doing. you a bonus. Yes. Thank. It looks like I didn't need it. So uh, this fucking thing doesn't auto cut calculate that um shit um instead of that because that messes it up um do so awareness you've got the number of pips in awareness plus the numbers of pips in composure Six, those right. are the numbers of d10s you have so just roll that amount of d10s all right and, and then, then you'll get a for us, yeah plus one d10 okay so roll seven d10 uh, uh, how do you feed on someone like is it a grapple check or uh, probably. So, do the uh, thing first. The the It's all bad roll. Like oh, cool. one, I, one quick, best one quick. So, your awareness plus your composure, that amount of d10s. Yeah, mm -hmm. plus any bonuses. So plus for us, one d10. Just, plus one d10. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Oh, shit, that's even better than mine. And the and. Uh, Dev? Dev? There Jesus. it is. I don't have much in either of those skills. And V? I roll. Uh, we're going to do it differently. Did yeah, you? we're doing it again. Yeah, if you want, I can roll again. I've Awareness got, uh, plus charisma, that many of D10s. No, 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 composure, not charisma. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I've got, I've, got two, I've got two composure. I've got one awareness. So... That's here we go. Uh, no, V, that's not it. Do what that's we did. It. You, you yeah. take your, your amount of awareness, which is a skill, the yeah. number of dots you have in there, and then the number of dots you have in composure, add that number together. And then if you've got any bonuses, which I don't think you do, then you'd add that one as well. And then do that many D10s. So for D10s. me, I have two awareness and four composure. So I'd roll six D10s. Yeah. And since we were in ambush, we got an extra D10 for it. Yeah. So I rolled yeah. seven D10s. Mm hmm. Five. Uh, how does the biting work? Like, for example, if I want to get up and just bite the soldiers next to me, would it be a brawl check? Or because the thing is, I don't have brawl, but I think all vampires should be able to uh, feed on people. So, not automatically now. Um, remember, so... there I was thinking bite. What the hell? But then I remembered with vampires. Yeah. <laughs> how could you forget yeah, 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 how to yeah. dominate? Yeah. <laughs> V hasn't forgotten. He's <laughs> no, the, the dominant is just standard V bullshit. I have to say, like it's the same as last campaign. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. V it, it's, it's the tactic these days to just go for whatever D and D character yeah, will get you the most it, power over other people. It works on humans, but on supernatural creatures, it doesn't work. At all. Yeah, because we're bound to encounter loads of them. How many of you guys have played Bloodlines here? Because that's actually quite a good game. I did. Yeah, it's good, man. And it's actually a pretty good intro to this to this kind of setting and, and system. Yeah, it's like the Jedi mind trick bullshit. Yeah, so, it's basically what um, You can grapple. Uh, you'd have to grapple, and then you can bite. Yeah, but, but uh, we'll start with rags. So, um, rags, you are... Uh, oh, God, switching between these two fucking maps is going to be annoying. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Right, so, rags, you are located at the bottom window, so you can see out... I should actually just pull your fucking um, your thing there. Let me move. Did they and kill the commissar? I'm, I'm We've trying lost our to turn just, order. And I'm trying to... I just want to zoom... I just want to pull this thing so it's not at the far right of the screen. I guess I can't. I can go up and down, not left and right. All right, then. Um, well, right now, all I've heard is a single gunshot... That's um, enough of a signal, I think, though. Yeah. 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 So I think, um, I'm, I think our the turn order is set for like each map. 
So yeah. switching is going to be awful. I can still see the turn order. Okay, okay we can't see it. it. So uh, I'm kind of just three guys in here, though. Um, and I want to keep gunshots to a minimum, see if there's a way that we can still kind of resolve this in a way that doesn't draw so much attention. But, you know, he's probably... Oh, does um, is the, did the commissar in any way who is going to the radio, react to the gunshot outside. Yes. Uh, you know, they're shocked and surprised. Like, what the fuck's going on? They're looking um, that way. We could maybe just jump in through the windows. He's, he's turning around to uh, listen to the gunshot. He's also now spotting uh, these riflemen advancing towards him with a fucking knife. <laughs> Which might freak him out more. Who knows? Okay. Oh, the more rifle well, the way up there. I, I suppose he wants to do it subtly, like it doesn't have to be like knife in hand. Is it? You didn't told him to do it, tell him to do it subtly. You just told him to go fucking kill the commissar. Yeah, but he's using his best judgment to do it. <laughs> his best judgment to go kill the commissar with <laughs> a knife, yes. Um, so I'm going to mark uh, these riflemen with a green indicator. All right. That makes our life a whole lot easier. Yes, it does. Oh, yes, God, does. that makes things easier. All right, so I'm going to jump through. Um, just, uh, just I could probably just uh, even just looking through the window would be sufficient. <clears throat> yeah, you um, can see instead the, of um, uh, what, what your line of sight would be like. Yeah, I could probably I can see everybody from the window. Yeah, I'm right yeah, up pretty next much. to it. So what I'm going to do is um, I the one that I don't point at. I assume Uzulu will because he's no, no. dummy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Well, actually, let me see. Can I, while they're distracted, I'm going to use my um, my submachine gun, and I'm going to. Well, I'm thinking, do I, do I want to break the glass to grab their attention, and then, with the gun, point it to the commissar here? Just shoot through the glass, man. <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone yet. Oh. Why don't we want to um, keep it quiet as well? We could shoot when yeah, we're exactly. inside, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, the, you're going to try and get him to surrender, basically, I guess. Pretty, yeah, pretty that, much, idea, yeah. yeah. Yeah, staring down an SMG. They're already no freaked joke. out. They might just they might just give up. Yeah, they'll mm -hmm. think it's a, like a legit they've been ambushed because a gunshot goes around outside. They don't know whose it is. Um, sure. So they're all thinking something's going down outside. They don't know what's happening. I take the butt of my SMG. I bash the window to make that loud noise, um, and I aim the gun directly at the commissar. And with my other hand, I motion, you know, basically get down a point at him, then at the floor. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and Do you I know, will sorry, use... Bro. Huh? I was going to ask uh, if you know Russian. You could tell him to surrender in Russian. Um, I can't remember if I know Russian. Um, It'll be I'm, on your, uh, your second tab, I think. Uh, Chronicle. So, Chronicle. It's going to be funny if they surrender and the the guy comes and stabs the commissar in the back. Right, exclusion yeah, that, from Lover, be food, Bloodhound, beautiful. I fuck. I can't remember if I had Russian or not. Yeah, I imagine we so. get two languages. Then it we should get... be under um, merits. There should be the linguistic merit. Merits and flaws. Yeah. I have it under there. Through Bloodhound, I don't have linguistic. No. Well, I'll tell so you what, I'm going next, so I could just shout surrender. Quite that's true. Into the that's room. very true. And he is looking at an SMG, so that's kind of a universal language. Well, I think um, we'll assume that we that you and I do this at the same time because we can see yeah. each other from outside, so we can yeah, time it as long as Arch is okay with that. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, you're after me, so it would be pretty yeah. simultaneous. Not only that, yeah. but my ability that allows me to see in the dark it also increases intimidate because it makes my eyes glow red. So yes. that will add to the intimidation factor. As if the firearm yes. didn't do it enough. That, that would break the masquerade. <laughs> Ah, huh? oh, um, yeah, I'm not sure if your eyes can actually do that. No, that's what it says. Where? In the the rule book, the the here. I'll let me load it up. Uh, spec. Let me roll through it here. Look through. No, it's celerity. Oh, it's Protean. Let me do that. So it says here, uh, Eyes of the Beast. Um, 
While active, the user ignores any sight penalties, blah, blah, blah. While active, the inhuman appearance of the eyes confers two bonus dice to intimidation pools against mortals. That is indeed exactly what it do, yes. Nice. That's really good. Would they break it do. Trade, though? No, uh, you you think they're going to believe that? Oh, and when the when the German uh, broke the glass, his eyes were glowing red. <laughs> that does sound like a tall tale. There's yeah. there's no way that they would believe it. It's just subtle enough. Yeah. To that, where, yeah. So yeah, add uh, some extra intimidation here. Do I need to roll for that? Uh, right. So two bonus dice to intimidation. So. I think we'll do um, intimidation plus. I'm tempted to say strength because well, I can't. two and four. So yeah, I'll, I'll say strength because you know it, it isn't really charisma nor manipulation or composure. You know, you're trying to ex yeah yeah we'll call it strength. All right, so one two three four five six. So, uh, so I will then just do intimidation uh, attribute strength and modifier two. And that should roll correctly. All right, we can double check and make sure. Um, <laughs> While you're doing that, I've got I've got some artwork here. For here's the first one. V for getting to dominate everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the gummies out. <laughs> then here's oh, the God. second one. Tomarish, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> oh, God. good evening. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that could pose a problem, the, the guy with the knife, because I think we are quite likely to convince these two to surrender, but then what the fuck do we do when there's still a guy trying to kill him? Like, what are we actually going to do? We're going to have to tell them, okay, surrender. We'll, we'll just let him do it. That guy. Just let him do it. It's just like, let him do it, man. <laughs> you'll be, then you'll be breaking the law. Though. Bad, bad. You're, you're told that if commissars don't shoot at you, you're supposed to treat them nice. Yeah, and I'm not doing anything. Not my fault. I mean, wrong. The Technically, we aren't breaking the law. Yes, you are. Here's what we we might be able we to do. We didn't stab him. You did make him get stabbed. So, yes. But no one else knows no, it's, that. It's okay. It's okay. I'll I explain will know. To the officer that he was making the radio for help. <laughs> no, okay, no. No, be. Bad to be. So, uh, let's do the roll. So, yes, that seems to be correct. And add in another bonus for the surprise. So, you'll have three oh. modifier. Oh, okay. Let me Let me do that then. So charisma with a strength, boom, um, modifier three. Intimidation plus strength. Intimidation plus strength. Yes. Oh, okay, here we go. Intimidation plus strength attribute, submit three modifier. Three Good degrees of success. Yes. Um, yep, that freaks him out pretty good. Let me roll his, his composure, I guess. Um, yeah, no, you, you got him. He's, he's looking pretty scared. He isn't even reaching for his weapon. He just throws his hands up. You've got to factor in the fact that because we're doing this a little bit out of time, I've already broken the glass and shouted surrender in, in Russian by this time. So I'm sure that's helping the intimidation. But Speaking I guess we're doing my turn next. Yeah, yeah we're doing your turn breaking. now. So. Right. Excellent. Fantastic. I'm going to do almost exactly the same thing that, uh, that Dev did. Point the gun at them. I don't have an SMG, <coughs> but right. rifle. But Dev did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, except the, the rags, rags version of death. The rags <laughs> yes. version of death. Look, I, you can't infer from that that I don't know the difference, okay? That I don't think they all look the same. Right. Oh. Um, intimidate plus strength and a bonus of one because you don't have glowy eyes. Um, um, I will actually, no, bonus of two because you speak Russian. That's good too. All right. Um, I'm just, so I'm breaking the glass, putting the gun at them, and then shouting in Russian the words. Uh, the yes. surrender or whatever. So I'm rolling intimidation with a bonus of two, yeah? Yes. Intimidation on charisma? Uh, strength. Strength, okay. Well, this is not, not things I'm that good at. Hopefully the two bonus will help. Well, it's something. Uh, well, it is one success. Hmm. Um, yep, you, you don't add a whole lot to Ragnus's uh, success, but I mean, the uh, the commas are still surrendering, and the poor tank man sitting by the table, he's just <laughs> sad and confused. <laughs> he's like, this is my day now. <laughs> this, is, this, this is my life. Why? Yeah. Why is this happening to me? 
Um, right, so next up is V's turn. Um, can you see the turn order again now? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. We could see the elements That's of the turn order that you had added in afterwards when we were in that room. I think maybe it's aligned to the tokens that are present in the room that we're currently in. Maybe that's okay. a convenience feature, so you might be able to change that. That that could be nice, yeah. So, V, what are you doing? Uh, you're prone, currently lying on the ground. The dude is standing over you with a rifle. Playing dead. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's hope he doesn't double tap. <laughs> and I think the officer is going to arrest him or something, because he just shot the German officer. Okay, um, then it's the tank crewman who was in the middle of eating some a delicious bowl of cereal and vodka, and he's just looking around like, shit, this, this got lively all of a sudden, puts down his spoon and you know, raises his hands. Good Russian. Still chewing? Like, oh, God. Up until now, uh, I have a feeling that the uh, communists at the border were thinking, wow, the Germans certainly didn't send their best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, heavens. All right, and then it's back outside again to the rifleman who's standing right over V. And what does he do? Uh, right, I'm now going to roll to see if he figures out that V is not dead dead. Or, you I know, rolled a is dead. success on performance. Well, we would... Th would <laughs> so, would um, would Dev think that he's dead? Oh, well, let's see. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, God, that's... Oh, wow, that's like... Wow! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he double taps. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Right. He he thinks you look pretty fucking suspicious and puts another bullet in you. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage is that? Uh, another four. I mean, he doesn't miss at that fucking range. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, you... oh, I don't know. It is a Mosin. So cut it in half to four two. Um, uh, I've got another artwork here. Here. Oh boy. E, can I ask what your max health is? What you start with? There's, there, there, there's me fantasizing about only having one strength. I hope the officer will stop him, though. <laughs> like he just pumps another round in him. Like he, I saw him squirming. Because V, I've got, I've got a maximum of five health. If that happened to me, I'd be on one health. Uh, yeah, V is on one it's health. He's not it's looking great. Damage. No, I have six. I took four damage, so I have two more. Two. Uh, right, these riflemen approaches the officer with knife raised. Okay, this is this is the moment of truth. This is kind of an unusual situation you wouldn't normally have to deal with when you've when you've taken hostages. Asking the hostages to stop their friend killing them. <laughs> it, it is an unusual situation, I admit. And then there's Deb's turn. It's not like they have video cameras. We can tell them the story the way we want to tell them the story. And that is true, but we still, if we can do this better, we might as well. If we can say, look, we captured them all, that would be pretty impressive. Not a single shot fight. Well, okay, a single <laughs> shot. <laughs> two. Two, two shots fired. <laughs> two shots. And, and both really, of them were at us. And, and we're really fine. Both of them are from the Kandisar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we could say that. The Russians might con contravene the story. But it probably wouldn't matter. Okay, so has, has he noticed me here? I see oh, he, not. He, know, he knows you're there, yes. But he, right. he's more worried about the person playing dead. Is he <laughs> bent over checking on V? Yeah, he's basically leaning over after having fired another round in his chest, like, oh, still moving. Right. What about right, the, well, think, well, like a gremlin, I'm going to pounce on him and try to stab him in the neck with my knife. Ah! Okay, I guess, I guess fuck the whole Jesus. capture them all alive practice thing. We just stabby stabby. It, like, yeah. Can't you at least put it at his throat and like threaten him or something instead of fucking <laughs> stabbing him? Poor guy. No, it's going right in. Fucking hell, that's cruel. Um. All right, that, that's horrible. But <laughs> fair I, enough. I assumed that there's going to be like an athletics involved because I'm jumping. Are you actually going to try and jump on him? Yes. Right. Uh, extended test. <laughs> if you fail this roll, V is most likely dead. Not really. I will jump and shoot. Uh, do I have to perform again, Arch, or is that my previous role still? I, mean, you I don't think you have to again, perform. But... You got shot again. <laughs> His role was really good. He probably isn't going to shoot you again, probably, but, you know, dice <laughs> gods. No, I, I performed the uh, dead. That's the performance. Yes. And he saw through you, or felt paranoid enough to put another <laughs> round in. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, roll athletics first, uh, Deb, to see okay. if you even get off the ground. Attribute. 
Um, Dexterity, I guess. Yeah. No modifiers. Got a one. Uh, one degree of success. All right. Well, you leap at him at least. All right. So okay. That's a good point. The Russians attacked first. All of this is self defense. So once again, we're self defending <laughs> ourselves to victory. And they're going to call this a false flag operation. <laughs> at this point, actually, what with the stabbing him in the neck thing, we're self defending ourselves to another massacre. Like, all I'm saying is, for the record, the Russians struck first. <laughs> So, Unless you count the dominates, in which we struck first, second, third, maybe fourth. <laughs> so I'm off the ground. Yep. Uh, melee and dexterity, since you're just using a dagger. Okay. Melee, dexterity. No modifiers. Wait, aren't even surprise him? Well, not really. He's already put two rounds into V. He's on guard. <laughs> no, but right, I, well, there's one. From behind, something is going to approach. Okay. Um, well, he is going to have a, a a negative modifier to defending himself because he's not facing you right now. But he does get to try and defend himself. Right. Uh, okay. Their dexterity and their athletics. All right. He uh, tries to get out of the way. But uh, wow. We... <laughs> no, he fails miserably. <laughs> uh, yeah, you sink the dagger right into him. Um, I was I was aiming for the neck. Do I get the neck? No. Uh, what do I get? You deal two damage to him. Okay. Which, to be fair, is a lot of damage for a human. <laughs> uh, he's he, getting the pacifist achievement. Um. Yeah. I mean, he fucking screams out in pain. You've buried this dagger in his side. Uh, he's he's not doing well. All right. I um, guess that's my turn then, right? Yep. Now it's the NKVD officer who is busy holding his pistol up and hoping somebody doesn't shoot him. And then it's... How's it going out there, guys? We've got the situation under control in here. God damn it, back outside again. Uh, the officer who is watching... Okay, first, he saw his buddy put two rounds in V just because he was being creepy. Then the little girl jumps and stabs his soldier in the side... What what even what kind of decision would he even make in this situation? <laughs> He's just gonna it, faint. It, it kind of makes sense that since the soldier attacked me first, someone else would defend me. Okay, since V thinks that makes sense, I'm gonna do the exact opposite of that. <laughs> um, he draws his pistol, but he's too confused to use it. In fact, fuck, he doesn't know who to use it on. Honestly, so he passes his turn. Okay. And then at one point in his life, Arch said, oh yeah, I'll DM the next campaign. <laughs> How bad could it be? Right. Uh, Rags is done. Um, the, both the soldiers are surrendering. Um, the guy with the knife, however, is not surrendering. <laughs> v, I don't suppose from lying down outside you could like undo no, your dominate quickly. I don't follow because I was totally <laughs> So What's I'll give the them yellow? a little... Yellow oh, Marcus ah, okay. for showing that they're surrendering. All right, All right. Gotcha. Okay, so you could just, you know, use your turn to climb through the window whilst keeping your weapons at them. Um, I think I will do that. I need to get inside. So I'll climb through the window. They've already got a gun on them anyway. Um, so I'll climb through the window. It might be a good idea uh, for us to... This dude's got a knife. <laughs> Um, well, I might be able to re uh, restrain him, though. <sighs> what a strange... Yeah, but God the damn thing it. is, like, they, God they, damn it, v. they might start uh, thing if you start fighting with the other guy. Yeah, I mean, I've got my gun on them still, but they might they might risk it anyway. And I don't want to have to use it ideally because it's going to cause a lot of noise. Let him die. Like, why do you care so much about this commissar? Yeah, maybe, maybe I actually shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Jordan Peterson would, Jurgen Panzerson certainly wouldn't. It it will it will be the blood not on my hands. Yeah, it's on me. I'll take responsibility for it. Oh, I've been waiting for you to say that. <laughs> so, um, what I was gonna do with this guy not having the dagger was to have us basically herd them into that room there, and we can have one guy keeping a gun on him while the other one of us maybe goes and helps. Mm -hmm. But the shenanigans <laughs> have made that more complicated. So, that's the 
Um, what a strange scenario. I suppose I could, um, if you can hold them, them, uh, surrendering i could get maybe hop through the window rush to him and hit him in the head to knock him out before any of this happens i don't know if i'll have time in my turn to do that the guy with my uh the guy with the knife yeah well the let me does the turn order who goes after we do does the commissar go before knife man um let's see yeah and why isn't the knife man already at the commissar though Knife man goes before commissar. Damn it. Um, <sighs> how? Okay, so how determined exactly is knife man? Very determined. <laughs> Very determined. Um, Let's just put it this way. It was a V roll. Like, he, he, his order is to stab commissar, which means that, that that is his one sole goal. So... <laughs> Even if you were to get in front of him and punch him out, he wouldn't see you as necessarily a threat, you know? Because all he thinks now is to have commissar. All right, I have a question. And uh, I don't know if I, if either player or either character would know this arch, but um, since I don't know much about this uh, game type, would I be able to go, get through the window, run to him, and hit him in the head on one turn? Um, probably not. Um, unless you mm -hmm. would like take your weapon off the other two guys and just sprint over there, then maybe, but unlikely. The thing is, like, if you try that, they might take advantage of the situation and stop. Yeah, running. but they've got a rags behind them with guns pointed at both of them. So yeah, I have a I have a submachine gun on me, pointed right at them. Um, geez, what a strange scenario we've ended up getting ourselves into. I don't. I don't want anyone to die. That's the thing. I want a, as little bloodshed as possible, like nice and clean. Outside. Rags, there's already a person that's going to die outside because. Uh, yeah, but it's you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad someone else said it. <laughs> no, it's yeah. I I gotta keep because yeah, we don't know that. We just heard two gunshots. We don't know who shot true. or what's happened. That's true. So. Right. That means so, we have no no culpability whatsoever if he dies because of our actions. <laughs> I'm <laughs> going to enforce the stop clock again. Decision whether right. or not to knock him out or not in a minute. All right, so Arch, uh, just to clarify, if I did sprint and don't point my guns at the other two, yep. and if I try to just hit him in the head or brawl with him or whatever, I, I'd just about be able to make it, yeah? Yeah. Or maybe not. All okay. right, yeah. so that in mind, I have a four strength and a two brawl. Would I be able to, uh, and I have the red eyes for intimidate, would there be a way for me to physically restrain Knife Man? Probably. Yeah. I don't. I recommend you don't. If I'm okay. going to do my thing, just pull the commissar back. Say commissar, he's trying. Well, you, you can't speak Russian, do you? I guess I could I say. I can motion. It while I'm I can over. motion. I can make the motion. That's a simple motion. I guess Come so. here. All right. So that's what I'll do. If he's, um, if he's looking I'm, at you, which I assume he is. Yeah, he is. Um, so that's what I'll do. What I'll do is I will, with my gun raised, I will motion for the commissar to come towards me. And in fact, motion for him to go into the room uh, that's beneath me. Okay. Now, people oh, in chat okay. and V might be thinking, why don't you just let him die? He might be a valuable prisoner, and it's not going to take that much to stop him dying. And if none of them die, if we take them without any casualties, that will look oh. good for us. <laughs> Except the one that Dev already stabbed. Except for the one Dev. Well, we, I don't know that, but my character doesn't <laughs> know that. That's true, that's true. Really nasty tortured in, in a Nazi concentration camp. Yeah, but we're going to get the credit, V. It's I'm, not a, moral, I'm a it's German tactical. vampire. I'm not a Auschwitz guard. Big difference. Right. Yeah, so, yeah just you're gonna make no mistake that this is not a moral him. decision. This is Keep a the, decision. the weapons trained on him, you know, come over here. Yep. And motion him over. So he does that. Absolutely. Uh, Uzalu rushes over and tries to restrain this guy, just, you know, holding yep. him back. He's not resisting. He's just like, must stab Commissar. He's like a mummy um, or something. <laughs> must stab like, Commissar. I, 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 would that be Brawl? No, yeah, he's not resisting you at all. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, just I have right. a good melee and not a good Brawl, so I figured if I could use that instead. Hence the, the hitting with the butt of the gun. But I guess if he's not resisting, it doesn't matter. The uh, the tanker is wondering whether or not he can resume eating his fucking cereals. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I did not get paid for this shit. <laughs> He's probably just glad to have cereal to eat, probably. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have the situation handled in here. How's it going out there? <laughs> Back outside, uh, V is still on the ground. Bravo Would you team, like to continue to play dead? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Since the guy's distracted, maybe now's not a good time to just continue lying there and wait for the next bullet. I have two more HP. I don't want to get shot. 
Yeah, but Chris <laughs> is likely to get shot if you do nothing. Apparently, no, because apparently he's concentrated on Devo. Yeah, to be fair, he's currently being stabbed, so there's that. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll save you, officer, but I have to make sure that this body is extra, extra dead. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess if you stand up, the officer might shoot you as well. So maybe it is best for you to lie down. Um, right. So it's the rifleman's turn. <clears throat> he's fucking stabbed. You know, he's screaming. Um, he's not having fun with this. Chat, <clears throat> I think we need fan art of the serial communist. <laughs> yeah, he falls back on his ass, just clenching his wound. Basically, he drops his rifle. Uh, rolls around, screams owie in Russian. <laughs> um, the knife dude, um, he just, again, he he just kind of must stab communist. Like, like he's wondering why you're stopping him, and that's all he's doing. Mm. I think I need to subdue him or get the knife off him or something. And Dev. Yes. Stop stabbing the Russian? Uh, no, I'll just pounce on him and stab him and finish him off. <laughs> Fucking horrible. Okay. Yeah. If, if he's rolling around on the ground, I'll just like stand over his chest and then, you know, put it into his brain or something. But, Dev, prisoners. Yes. So what? I think there are some philosophical incongruities in this party. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was in the last one, too. That's true. Let's look how that went. <laughs> okay. Well, um, roll melee dexterity just in case you fuck it up, I guess. All right. We can take the important people hostage. That's not a big deal. Melee dexterity. Every person is important. <laughs> Every person is important. Every are, you, are, you, are you playing my monk? <laughs> to be fair, these are communists. They oh, don't even shit. classify as people, let alone important. Right. You could just go over to him, flip him over, you know, put the knife at the back of his uh, head and just beat it in with your tiny little child fist. You're like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the officer says while well, he's that. <laughs> uh, right, well, he's dead. <laughs> Shit. The officer does seem to be like one strange thing away from just fainting. <laughs> Basically. Uh, the commissar is just obeying Ranks' instructions. Um, the officer, again. Maybe he, he goes back in? <laughs> no. Um, he's probably caught between shooting Dev right now and just giving up, I guess. Giving up on life, giving up on his everything, essentially. Any chance that he heard me yell surrender? Um, probably, which probably just confuses him even fucking more, to be honest. <laughs> oh, uh, v. I think in that situation he might just he might just surrender. Uh, on your next turn, you should probably get some blood from him. Because yeah, I might have killed him, but there's still like a few minutes before before it yeah. loses its potency. Yeah, well, let's see what the captain does first, because I have two HP, and I don't want the captain to see me feeding. <laughs> That's perfect. He's he's seconds away from collapsing in, in disbelief, and you're about to get up, having been shot twice, <laughs> and drink the blood of the guy that's just been stabbed to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it'll be fine. You, you, it's you like, can blood it's heal like with two it. parallel campaigns are happening, inside and outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're having universes. to deal with the overflow from the outside one. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to give him a dice roll then to see what he's going to do. Um, yeah, he, he he doesn't want any fucking part of this. Like, he puts up his pistol and hopes to surrender, I guess. Although, if you put, like, he he's on the, right now, He's thinking, shit, okay, I don't want to die. But if this crazy bitch looks me, looks towards me in a strange fashion, I will shoot her. <laughs> you know, he's holding on to his pistol for the moment. All right. Um, Rags, it is your turn. All right. Um, I mean, at this point, it's more or less pacified, but um, then well, I'll well, yeah. hear a voice as a rather drunken looking uh, man comes uh, dumbling out of the room there's sex uh, he's like vishim dillo uh he's uh, he's what one the hell 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 his picture? One. um he's drunk that's drunk crush picture <laughs> uh okay if you uh, if you want to pass your turn to after me, I can shout surrender. Can I do that? 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I, I, you can normally in 5e, but I'm saying that because what he does in response to me saying surrender might impact your decision. Although I guess it doesn't matter. I, I don't know where his turn order is, so maybe not. Yeah, does he need to... Is he a combatant at the moment? Is he... Well, first off, is he even armed? Mm. <clears throat> no, he doesn't appear to be. Good. He's okay. drunk and half asleep. Good. Uh, and it might be best to just carry on... Um, well, when I get the chance, I'll, I'll shout surrender. He'll probably he'll probably drop what he's doing and all right, wow. um, drop whatever he's doing. <laughs> I mean, actually, I have I have one in dominate, so I can I can use use my skill perhaps a little more tactfully than than has been in the past. You know what uh, you can I, do? I can do I can do a one word command and they'll follow it. So I'll just shout surrender him. Uh, you all you have to do is just point the gun at the dude you have and say stop, just surrender or I'll shoot. That's a bit more complex than he's able to understand right now. I think he's he's incredibly think so? drunk. All right, it's fair enough. Um, I don't know. Surrender might confuse him too. Um, I I almost want to say that in his state, he's not even armed yet. So Just tell him to, you know, get over here. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, I can't see him. Or, or I don't think. Yeah, I can't see him. Well, but what I'll do is I'll I'll point at the tanker, and I'll indicate the same. The intimidation that I've had uh -huh. uh, that he needs to go into the room as well. Um, okay, so these and guys are going... Will it, will it be possible for me to take both of their sidearms? Um, yeah, you can just you know ask him to drop them. The tanker isn't even armed. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, yeah, uh, but I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll motion him to go back into that room, just sit on the boxes or whatever, just go in there. Um, okay. Now keep the gun on them. Uh, and from this angle, if anything comes in the other door, I'll see it in a second. But yeah, so two are down, uh, sort of one to go. But that should I've just, be... Yeah? I've just looked at the manual and what I can do. I was I was going on what the wiki said, but the manual actually is more permissive. I can yeah. do a short sentence to be abated of the letter. I must be able to, they must be able to complete the task in a single turn. So I don't just have to say surrender. I can say um, drop to the ground and put your hands on your head or something. That's simple enough and you can do that in one turn. Uh, so I can be I can be clear and could be because I know Russian he'll do it as well. I hope unless he's so out of it that he's just I, I think he's harmless either way, but that's probably a good idea. That's true, yeah. But yeah, might even well. if it fails, what's he gonna do? But this is this is minor stuff. So let's let let's let the other guys have their turn because what they're doing is a bit more unstable. We just wanted to give everyone just a, a tiny little glimpse at success. <laughs> I'm sure that it'll will hold this up throughout the entire <laughs> campaign as well. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> we don't even have Sork on here. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's uh, go ahead. Go for it. Yeah, you bet. All right. Uh, what about Knife Man? Uh, well, I've got I mean, I've got him. I don't need to do anything with him. Um, no. If you take his knife away, he won't be able to fulfill the order. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. And he'll also not react if I try and like knock him out with the butt of my gun. So could I do either of those on the same turn as shouting at the other guy? Yeah, sure. You, you could just take his knife and that'll be Fair pretty much it. yeah if as long as he doesn't have the knife then his order to stab somebody will mm. be like what is he it'll, i assume he'll just be like well and uh, it will require him to think again and yeah oh, break God. The spell. <laughs> oh, fuck. quick get him get him a butter knife quick. he might he might enter uh, he might do unexpected things at that point though he might not surrender maybe yeah take him out yeah incapacitate him he still thinks he's a german spy Oh, that's true. That's, yes. that's a good point. Okay, <laughs> V, your dominate is is definitely coming in handy. Um, all right, so I'll I'll grab the knife and I'll use my dominate on the other guy just in case. Okay, um, he's completely unprepared. He's barely fucking awake, so you can just do it. He uh gets down, surrenders. Right. Good. And the knife? Do I need to roll for that? No, he he doesn't resist. That was a fucking easy turn. Okay. <laughs> Back uh, to you, we, guys! We've got the situation <laughs> double and triple handled in here. How are you doing yeah, out there? Right. Back to V. Would you like to get up at some point? Well, if I get up, won't it spook the officer? Yes, it will. It will fucking spook oh, we wouldn't, want, we wouldn't want that. <laughs> they will tell the officer to get inside. It's not my turn yet. Um, well, it, yeah, it's pretty much is. I mean, combat is more or less done at this point. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass the turn to Devil so he can tell the officer to get inside and I'll drink the blood. I, I, I can't speak. 
No, it's when, when <laughs> Russian. The, the blood stained little bad. squirrel girl just looks at him like, uh, Deutsche yeah. inside go no? Yeah. I'll, I'm like half his height, so I'll just like go up to him and, and, and look up with my large dead eyes and then just like shake my head towards him, to, 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 like towards the inside. <laughs> Point okay. the knife that's currently dripping with his comrade's blood towards the door. Yep. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, he'll he'll go inside. As soon as he goes inside, I pulse and I start feeding. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, uh, mark off your hunger and do a uh, rouse check. So you can rouse the blood and then you get heal. Uh, how do I do a rouse check? I think Just it's at the, the bottom rouse. of the character sheet. Yep. There is a rouse. It's a rouse roll, yeah. Bottom left. Oh. You fail. What does this mean? Nothing. You just fuck up. Oh, I don't need. You, uh, you, you do forget your hunger, so make your hunger back to uh, the base. Yeah. All right, I'm back. What's up? And uh, what about the health? Uh, no healing done. Mm. Oh wait, I noticed one of the icons is gone uh, while I stepped out. What? Um... Yeah, the the officer surrendered. Officer too. went inside. Okay. I assume, uh, Dev, you're going to follow behind him to, to handle him so that we don't have to increase the number of people that we're handling each. <laughs> oh, fuck it, we'll take care of it. No, 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 we'll take care of it. It's fine. <laughs> so, um, how many turns does V have before this, this blood becomes no longer usable? Like, how long? 15 minutes. So, you know, you've all got uh, plenty of time if you want to have a quick sip, but... Uh, Just stands right. out there failing to combine with the corpse for 15 yeah. minutes. Uh, I, I try to use left and bar. So inside, here's the next turn again. Um, you can see two more guys, but they seem to still be sleeping. Really? There's two more? Okay. How are they still sleeping? There were two gunshots and two broken <laughs> windows. Well, the first guy is barely awake after just These are Russian drunken stupor. Unless stated otherwise, it is assumed that they are intoxicated. Fair enough. That, I mean, that is a good point. This is oh, their natural habitat. <laughs> natural habitat, indeed. Is the um, is the officer separate from those two? Uh, the officer, officer is inside. up by the uh, door. Mm -hmm. Dev, can I assume that you're right behind him? Um, and no. him so that we don't have to increase our workload by three this turn alone. Dev is I'm busy licking his knife. I'm <laughs> yeah, kind of. I was actually like watching the door to make sure that V could feed without being seen. That's what's important right now. So I'm, I'm like in the doorway, so I can see what he's doing, but I'm not directly behind him. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like. Again, is that another rouse check or? Well, uh, combat Next is turn. said pretty much over now, so I'm just going to assume that you guys, you know, herd them together um, and pacify the last sleepers by you know waking them. Holding weapons at them and tell them to get the fuck inside. Yeah, pretty simple. Not Th that's a very, can... very convenient assumption. Thank you. There's nothing complex about what you need to do now. Sure. We'll 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 make sure to grab their weapons and put them somewhere else in the room as well. The the Russian yeah, we'll, the, the yeah, German we'll spy, of course, helps you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. I, I guess I'll come inside then. I'll come inside and V. I, with 15 minutes of attempts, you probably just get it and get yeah. Your you can heal back up to full. <laughs> They're all like Dimitri. Okay. What the fuck. <laughs> but are you sure you want to have V back inside though? He might freak out the prisoners. No, I'm they going can't. to go to the guy. They with probably the won't be able to see him. No, I, I'm going to go to the guy with the radio and tell them that we have captured all of the guards and they can send in the troops. Okay, yep. Uh, that is uh, received. You find the small squad, they radio it back, and you get congratulations as there's uh, there wasn't any huge uproar. Well, okay. we captured the, the, all but one of the guards. There is one thing I'd like to do, um, mm -hmm. since we have them all rounded up. Do I know which one of them was the tank operator? Um, <laughs> well, you can ask I, Yeah, I mean, we know, so... Yeah, yeah. so, here, I'll come in, where, wherever I am. Um, this is the cereal, man. Yeah, I'll grab the cereal. Okay, I'll take a cereal. Oh, God, I'll no. Go up, I'll go up to the cereal man, uh, and I'll start please. eating his cereal. No. Why? How could you? cereal in front of him, and well, then I'll could say, you? And then because I can't speak Russian, I'll like ho hold my hand up as if I'm holding a set of keys and like jingling them. Like, give me the keys to the tank. 
Um, okay. You could have just asked. You could, one you of could us just tell, ask. Tell yeah. Him, this complex <laughs> yeah, but, message. Yeah, I, I, want, I, want, I want. I want to do. I want to do it this too. way. <laughs> I want to do it this way. <laughs> yeah. None okay. of us would have any idea what you're. So one of those, is the cereal kind of wishy washy. I don't understand which. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, first and foremost, you eat the cereals, then you vomit as they repulse you <laughs> with their taste. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. I remember that. I remember you told us about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need <laughs> iron gullet to eat food. <laughs> I thought I could just force it down, but keep it. Hold oh, on. Really? Hey, you can do After a performance that, I, check. Okay, performance. Okay, I'll performance check then. Because <laughs> mm. I, actually, um, I have a thing called eat food as well, which you could have got if you if you have enough dots for it. So I can eat it, charisma? but I, I have to pass it before the end of the day. Uh, uh, performance it's... and resolve. And resolve. Okay. I do like this test system. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. No, you vomit. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so, Jesus, sorry. I, 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 I'll, I'll just throw it up back into the bowl. It's like, sorry, I ruined your, sorry, I ruined your cereal. I forgot. <laughs> All right. Well, um, in the meantime, the uh, the tank operator launches into a lengthy explanation that actually we don't use keys to start tanks here. We have <laughs> just an ignition switch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, open the door at the back of the tank, not on top of it. Everything was already set up for it to go. Three time girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty pretty easy. You just you just you know turn the ignition and it's done. It's fine. It's not not uh, a problem. Right. Okay, thanks. And I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll hand I'll just like hand him the bowl and go outside to the tank. And he he'll, he'll eat it. Fuck, he's rushing. He's eating worse. He's eating worse. <laughs> I wonder what vampire vomit or vampire lolly vomit tastes like. <laughs> it's like oh, little girl spat in my food. Okay, well, nom nom. <laughs> Probably he's adds value food. to it when you think about it. Where did ritualists go? Good God! <laughs> I guess it's not technically. Well, actually, it is vomit, isn't it? Because you you involved bile the moment you ingested the food. Uh, maybe, maybe we could allow him to undo that because he would know that he can't eat the food. No, it's funnier mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that's a good argument. Okay, so mission successful. Uh, we'll wrap it up there, probably. Um. Mission very successful, a minimal amount of noise, you know, just a couple of gunshots into, you know, V. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not terrible at all. I just um, realized I, I can dominate our commander to think that sniper rifles are the best shit ever. Yeah, try <laughs> that. Try That's a great idea. They can't backfire in any fucking way, shape, or form. <laughs> Don't say that, because he will actually try it. <laughs> no, 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 that's a great idea, V. Fucking do it. Fucking you know, good. I, I'm going to pass it up to the chain of command. Like, look, it's it's actually a great weapon. You can single targetly pull out VIPs and you, you can snipe out the commanders and officers from a distance. Oh, yeah, it, it's great. Do it. Do it. And I'm sure he won't. I, he will never question this. He will never realize and it'll be fine. <laughs> there you go, guys. I got some artwork for the occasion. He was lying. <laughs> no, no, Dad, no. <clears throat> so, yep, you uh, report back your success. Um, they're overjoyed by this, really. Um, as oh, wait, the uh, wait, wait, are, are we going back to the camp? No, oh, I wanted to drive the tank back, but okay, I want. I'm you, taking the tank. Um, get the instructions that you are to wait where you are now and there will be a messenger along with further information and your truck of course so you stay there and waiting uh, that is a radio in the <laughs> officer's room where you can listen into uh, russian radio traffic as the offensive starts at 3 a.m and it's quite interesting as you are once again shown that the russians did not expect this uh, for example, you hear one communication where a panicked radio officer are reporting back to command, we're being fired on, what shall we do? And the, com uh, the officer just answers, you must be insane. Why is your message not in code? And refuses to take any further communication. <laughs> <laughs> um, Air Force officers are reporting across open frequencies, uh, reporting that their airfields are being strafed. And again, they're being met by the same thing. That's impossible. Confirm it. They, it would actually take until somewhere along 5 a.m. before the Russian leadership was truly aware of the fact that the war had started. And by that time, it would be quite late. The first Panzer Armee is rolling past outside as uh, you sit in there 
you know, keeping his little Russian uh, prisoners company as tank after tank and trucks filled with Wehrmacht soldiers roll past into the night. Great, Eventually, you that story because it actually happened. That actually happened, yes. Mm, fair enough. Uh, the radio transmission there was a direct quote. The Russians had no fucking yeah. idea because they were under orders to not do anything to provoke the Germans. Yeah. Jan Smalling yeah. himself was convinced that the Germans didn't want war, at the very least not yet. Yeah, it sounds like the kind of fuck up that, that was Lysenkoism. You got someone so convinced that they're right that the consequences of the, of the opposite nature don't even factor in. Yep, it, it didn't factor in at all. There was even a, um, a Red Army officer uh, of the uh, Red, Red Air Force. When he arrived at his airfield and saw something like 80-70% of his air forces just wiped out on the ground... He simply got out of his staff car, told the man to drive back to headquarters, and then he shot himself. <laughs> you know, I really want to be at the debriefing, and I'll be like, and then the guy with the knife, he went to the commissar, which already surrendered. <laughs> I don't no idea why. Your officers. I think the, the Prussian uh, National Socialist is going to have fun with that. V, do you reckon that you could enslave cereal man so that we can keep the meme alive? Um, yeah, <laughs> and we have him as a pet, Arch. Um, right. Uh, eventually, uh, Vilmund, <laughs> a creation of visualist's imagination, and your driver um, arrives and uh, is ready to give you your future instructions and also to take over for the prisoners. Um, for this, you'll gain one experience point as the base. Then you'll gain another experience point for doing it silently, and you'll gain a third bonus experience point for capturing most of the outposts. So you'll get three XP. Cool. Ooh. All right. That's fantastic. Is that on Chronicle? And it's no. under Blood and EXP. Blood and XP. My bad. Okay. Yeah, so just put three under experience to spend. And what's the next uh, objective? Like I'll what? have to read on how to spend XP. <clears throat> I, I think we'll end the session f there. I don't think we'll yeah. go into the next one <laughs> right away. Mm -hmm. I More think for the XP, would we not add three to the experience to spend and total experience? Or is the experience to spend like a temporary thing and then we spend it and it goes into total experience? It goes into total experience. Okay, yeah. so I, I still had nine left to spend, so I guess that's up to nine? 12. Yeah, well, I hadn't I spent everything oh, from my yeah. from my initial character creation. I have, oh, we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you start 12, with you, yeah. You start with fifteen. Oh, yeah, I, I I put two into firearms, one into drive, and one into craft. As so right. experience so to get, spend is is a, is a buffer where the things come in, and then you spend it, and it goes into total experience. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I, I, okay, I should actually have. That makes sense. Actually, have so that means so that means I have eighteen experience. <coughs> yeah, I put twelve right. to spend and six total, so six that's been spent. By the way, Arch, um, can we change history, or is it going to be like fixed? Who knows? I think we've already. There is no history. destiny other than what we make. <laughs> you, you know that there's vampires in this world, right, V? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, is the war going to lose for the Germans? Are or? you implying that there are no vampires in the real world? Actually, yes. <gasps> <laughs> that depends on how good of a little Nazi you are, V. Maybe, maybe you can change history. Maybe not. Dream, dream big, like all good Nazis <laughs> should. Uh, we, we should not have a future where V gets to be in power, though. That's a bad idea. All you have to do is dominate Stalin, and it'll be a short <laughs> war. <laughs> it'll be fine. That'll be great. Yeah, but if I was Arch, I would make Stalin a vampire. <gasps> yeah, but luckily you're not Arch. Otherwise, they would have gone much, much worse. The Plute Thukens. And by the way, Arch, the MG42 was invented in 1942 by the Germans. 1942. <laughs> <laughs> the year an, of our that's Lord. That's an amusing way of saying it. <laughs> and when was the MG42 first arrived at the front, V? Well, see, that's something that I don't know. No, you don't. The yeah, earliest uh, reported way. examples were found in Stalingrad, where they shipped about a thousand of them. So, but I, if you I find yourself can... in Stalingrad, V, maybe I'll give you one. <laughs> yes, hey, so maybe we'll see some that we're not yet oh, in Stalingrad. That's going to be a fun thing if our campaign takes us to Stalingrad. That won't yeah, be fun yeah. at all. That will be great. <laughs> no. I hope you go to Stalingrad. Yeah, that'll be the opposite <laughs> of fun. Yeah, your concept of fun is an odd one. We could probably turn the tide, but it was, it's going oh, to yeah, take a lot of cold weather trudging to get there. Rex, there's a lot of XP in Stalingrad. 
No, I oh, I bet there is. I mean, we took care of these six guys with no problem at all. So I figure Stalingrad's just the next step up. Yeah, but think about it. You're a vampire. You take less damage from normal weapons, and by the time we get Stalingrad, we'll be leveled up. Ooh, I die in three bullets instead of one. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, I will promise you I'll bring you to Stalingrad if that was that's what V wants. It'll be fine. V doesn't know what he wants. <laughs> right I, I want to punish rags for his this murder. Does, I want to go to nor Stalingrad. does V know what the rest of us want. <laughs> v <laughs> Right. So we'll wrap up the uh, the episode there. Um well, was it fun? Did you enjoy this? Yes. Y yeah, I did, yeah. I think it yeah. went well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking though. Very uh, like the the timer for the decision making is really great. I, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, that more. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that really is for well. the best. Yeah. I think that is for the best. Um, as chat said, uh, Sargon did great in this episode. Yes, he did. He, this is the his best performance. So he did. Far. He did less damage than me. <laughs> he'll he'll be here next time. Are you just gonna like have um, him show up late? He's like, sorry guys, I missed this one. But like, like will there... you explain it in universe? Earth? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm sure he had his reasons for why he couldn't be here. Um, if not, I'll beat him. Is <laughs> there Don't forget could, super uh, chat before the stream ends. Is there a way we could convince Command to let us ha keep the Russian, the 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 German spy? Probably fucking not. No. If I explain to them that he's under my control and my no, the, this isn't like you taking home a pigeon and looking up at your mother and going, like, <laughs> "Hey, can I keep him?" No, he's a communist. This isn't the cult, V. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably going to yeah, get sent can... off to a horrible concentration camp, and he's going to die, and he's going to be like, where is we? Where do, why does he not save me? <laughs> he's going to be right like... confused when he's in a, a Nazi concentration camp, convinced that he's a German spy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let me out. I, I don't belong in here. <laughs> okay, I've, I've got the last... Fucking communists. I, I've got the last artwork of the day. You ready? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> disgusting illegal and disgusting well there's nothing illegal about standing behind a couch <laughs> oh, protectfully that. watching over some young person uh, well, that is a great fucking art style for your lolly though <laughs> Look, make this the thumbnail technically we're not in Germany so German's laws don't apply to us and we're not citizens of Russia so their laws don't apply to us so there's no age of consent I don't know if that Someone in the chat said you should send this to China. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, this is, this is great thumbnail artwork right there. D do it, Arch. If we can mm. get to Japan in time, we can dominate um, their leader into doing Pearl Harbor. Yeah, Arch, what do you know about Chinese warfare during World War II? Uh, a decent amount. More than you. Oh, so you can send us to China. Of course I can send you to China. Maybe China and Japan aren't the same thing. <laughs> Is, is V thinking about Japan, or is he just... No, like, part of the exactly Japanese sure. army invading China. You want to be Japanese? No, 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 no. <laughs> like, not be Japanese, but be sent as a, you know, Nazi envoy to Japan to help them in their effort to take China. Oh, God, we've got two weebs in the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why you're laughing, you're one of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I feel like Dev, you were trying this episode very hard to convince everyone that the character you played last time is not your only possible character style because you were just trying to be as evil as you possibly could, comically evil. No, 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 not comically evil. It's just that the person wasn't important, so there's no problem with killing him. It's, See, it's only the commissar just, that was important. Every said, life you know, is two valuable. Plus two equals is equal to four, but two plus two is equal to five. <laughs> I'm not comically evil, but he's pointless, it's, so I murdered him. It's fucking <laughs> war, Uzel. Not it's yet. not war. It not literally yet. isn't war. It <laughs> literally it's, yeah. it's exact. No, yeah, war. Yeah, this, I, this I, is I, the I, starting I, of the I, war. In fact, arguably, you started the war. Yeah, yeah the war was, started two oh. hours later. Technically speaking, this was just murder. <laughs> Your last <laughs> character was so pure. Well, Art, I'm sure the Soviet police is going to give them a fair trial. I'm sure too. Uh, I'm gonna have to I fucking play out the war Devo. crimes court against Dev. Uh, Arch, does he lose a humanity point? Uh, no, no. Okay. Oh, th this yeah, is war. You are ordered to kill. Although that was a kind of pointless murder. It was. it was an execution. No, 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 no. no. I he was saved twice. 
he shot V twice and was gonna he, he would have done it a third time if I hadn't stopped him. Yeah, yeah. No, the first stab was was more understandable than the second one. Yes, the second stab was a bit much. Dude. See, to, to me, it wasn't a bit much because it's V who's incapacitated. It's me, and I can't really fight that well. And there's two enemies there. And I don't completely know the status of the one who was who was like half brainwashed by V. So to me, it was it was justifiable. Oh, I'm sure to you it was just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that you believe that. You and I killed them. There was more of them than me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, okay. There's a lot of Jews in Germany. Okay, and I don't know where I got them. So I under I understand uh, Dev's reasoning. I, I understand. I mean, when I <laughs> used my topic, I was like, the guy is going to radio for help, and that wouldn't have been quiet. So I was like, well, what's the last thing I can do? It's like, well, go stab the commissar. No, tell someone else in front of the other people to go and murder someone else. <laughs> well, it, I didn't it, want it, to it only that. follows. Kind of forced me. Yeah, it's really just. I mean, who wouldn't? Yes. Have, Done that. I, mean, you, I probably you wouldn't. You have this force multiplying implement called a gun. Wait, wait, do, wait! I, I can't remember. Uzlo, did our guns work? <laughs> I, I mean, they they were effective in force yeah. multiplying and intimidating the enemy. Yes, very effective. Hey, what do you know? Yeah. We got a whole closet full of commies. <laughs> you know, so exactly. If we failed the mission, it would have given us a, a little problem with the campaign. It went great. <laughs> it, went great. it almost didn't. It could have gone south very quickly, extremely quickly. It practically did. All I'm saying is, uh, we, we may have saved the war. I'm just saying Team Safety Valve was here to make sure that things didn't get too fast. <laughs> so I hope we've learned valuable lessons about dominance. We have all learned very, very valuable lessons. Or team Clown World. Right, well, I'm going to start going through the Super Chat, so whoever wants to dip out can do so now. We are done with the session. Uh, Sargon never finished brewing his fucking tea, but maybe, maybe next week. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the best tea he's ever had. And, and Arch, are you still playing your Sunday sessions? or? Uh, yes, I just keep forgetting. Um, right, so next week, same time, is everybody around? or? Uh, yeah, I I'm, I should be. I'm going to be around. I'll be around. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dev, you going to be around, Uzlu? Uh, Sargon? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be around, Sargon? What, what's that? Silence? Zarin? Yeah. Uh, I, I assume that silence is uh, agreement. Silence is acceptance. Silence, silence is content. acceptance. That's right. That's right. Uh, silence is content. Right. Uh, well, I'll get into the super chest then. Um, hashtag blame Kyle hard enough and we will summon the lawmaster. I uh, it's because we were late. Blame Sargon. Fucker. Blame Sargon. Uh, Josh Stratton and Gimblefoot twice, both with that message. I do hate it when it does that. I wonder if that is that because they don't send a message or is it because YouTube censors? I don't know. It'd probably say like deleted or something if it was censored. Oh. Uh, Jot Bellamy. Hey, Arch, you're amazing. Thank you. Uh, Theo Flora, uh, five euro for the absolute mad lads who secretly drew sunglasses and a nice hat on the Reicher Sadler. <laughs> Made me kick seeing it happen last time. Got me doing. Uh, yes, I had to re remove the poor eagle because the swastika is not live in Germany, apparently. <laughs> uh, Lord Hefman, what happened to Sargon and why did Kyle do it? Well, Kyle did it because he's an ANCAP and he took Sargon to tea. That's the best story I can come up with. Uh, Grammatron, 3,000. Sargon needs to stop growing his tea for every break, if fucking only. The DCB Titan. Dev is playing Tanya the Evil. Yes, he is. Although, to be fair, Dev, Tanya wouldn't just have stabbed someone. She'd be a bit more suspect about it. Uh, yes, of course. I'm familiar with this character. I agree. Yeah. It, it would have been like a gory mess, but I'm actually not playing someone who's all that evil. <gasps> <laughs> oh, your definition of evil worries me, Dev. Let's clip it. it let's clip that from episode one. Remember when Dev, Dev said, do, 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 "Dev, would you say in real life that you're not all that evil?" Because if you would, then I fear for the people around you. Uh, he got all the goody goody out of his system with the last campaign. Well, well now to, he's to, ready be, to rock. To, to, to be fair, I'm Canadian, so we can't be evil by nature. I don't know so about that. Tell the tourists. Uh, I'm sure you believe that's true. 
<laughs> the DC I have, I have. Tanya did nothing wrong. You guys should be happy that ours didn't make me think crazy things this session. Wait, are all the super chats about Tanya? Uh, <laughs> only some of them. Oh. <laughs> uh, that Reeve guy, the RP is now backed by being X. So that's another one from Tanya. <laughs> Mad Cat, not story time, so I have a, so, something much stronger in my most excellent story time mug. Thank you so much for what you do and hours of stories, Uncle. Oh, thank you, too, for supporting me. Nicholas Peloso, the tale of tea, blood, fascist, Germans, and anti communist propaganda begins. Well, this isn't propaganda. This is, you know, true. Difference. Uh, Lloyd as Tom Jordan Peterson would say, or oh, sorry, as, as Jurgen Panzerson would say, Tell the big lie, or at least don't tell the truth. Words to live by. <laughs> Most of you will recognize the, the, the Jordan Peterson reference there. Oh it's my god. Just, was just, quick, I think. Uh, just uh, remove Project Veritas's Google video for hate speech. Did sorry? That happened fucking yesterday, V. Vimeo. Reddit. No, Vimeo. Oh, Vimeo. Yeah. Oh, Vimeo. Oh, okay. Well, well, it's still on BitChute, so I guess, I guess we know who's the who, who the real guy is. Oh, that shit is scary. I fucking I hope that actually gets some traction and something happens, because if not, oof. Probably uh, just Patton. going to increase the animosity from the, the counterculture and not do much in practice, but it'll increase the rate at which people stop using Google's products. If anyone is locked into Google's ecosystem, like Gmail and uh, like all their little apps, Maybe start the process of not being anymore if you can. Like this ship, this ship might be about to sink in flames. It might not, but even if it doesn't, it's probably best that you're not on their ecosystem. Hmm. Well, if changing my internet browser and my my Gmail account to something else is the price I have to pay, I'm down with that. It's going to be difficult. A lot of people are integrated. A lot of my stuff's integrated, but uh, it's yeah, probably it's worth doing. Yeah. All alternatives. Maybe Dev will get to this one. How do you kill a one-legged fox by making it run across Canada? What does that mean? You can pick any location. I think if it's one-legged, it's probably going to die if it's forced to run. No, no, no. no. Uh, Terry Fox was Canada's pretty much most famous long-distance runner. And he, he tried to run across Canada but he actually got a pretty severe form of cancer and then died halfway along the way. That's a dark dev. Why? Yeah. Well, he's considered a national hero. For dying? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, for, for raising cancer awareness. Yeah, that, that, that too. But like, it was the first time anybody had, had tried to run across Canada before. It was the Canada first said no. <laughs> pretty much. Well, there you go, I guess. Uh, Lucian the Witch, sad that I know Nosferatu present, uh, would be a bit difficult remaining, you know, sacred mm -hmm. man. Uh, Leonardo Not very Church. Aryan. Bringing in Louis Levau, he will pervert like Chase Dev's character and it's legal true. since she's an 800 year old vampire lolly. Also, That's show true. Sargon's character. But right now, I, I feel more about like uh, showing Sargon's uh, address <laughs> on stream so people can go and complain <laughs> to him in person. Or send, send just nail banks of tea to his doorstep. <laughs> Rags, check the uh, symposium. Yeah, this is fucking retarded. <laughs> Tan is awesome, though. Uh, almost okay. had it. So socialist vampires. V is right in his element. Uh, he is. Nicholas Peloso, hashtag kick V. Figure we should make the meme official. Uh, it's already is. Cody Opperman. Arch, go on EFAP, ask Rags, P.S. Rags artwork where? I will put that up uh, eventually when I get around to it. And Rags, um, Rags. Yes. EFAP. Yeah, me. I'm down with it. <laughs> Let me, um, yeah, I'll Is that I'll like see e fucked? If you're, well, sometimes we have those days. But... I, I think it, I think it's some kind of electronic gay sauna. That, that's my interpretation, at least, so... That's I'm sure that right. uh, Dev and Scrump could give you their take on those. That's the uh, that's the podcast I do with Mahler and Wolf. Hey, what's this? What what do you need? What? <laughs> we were gay talking saunas, about electronic yeah. gay saunas, and suddenly you appeared. Hi, 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 hi. Gay saunas. 
Yeah, but I'm sure I'd be uh, down for that if you'd have me. Yeah, tons of fun. I'll uh, I'll see if you're not already on the list of potential guests because I want to say people have asked before, but I'll confirm. Cool. Uh, I think Captain Sunday's in early fast. Gibbs that wrench, yo. Yeah, I have given out some wrenches, just mostly willy nilly, but it, it's it's Arab Arabic porn bot. I feel like we should let them be because how much porn do you really get in Arabia? I mean, come <laughs> on. This might there be their I don't own. Know. Do you own a? You live on a farm. Uh, come here, sheeple. Uh, Blitz turtle. What's being said here? Arch is clean your chat. <sighs> I don't like to though. It's, it requires efforts, and it's a fun one. It's just a you know hellhole. Architect of fate. This is an art stream. Where is the trap cat? Uh, in this case, Dev, do you want to be the trap? Um, no. <laughs> I'll I'll stick with Lolly. Thanks. Oh. The DCB Titan, wait, are they in the Nazi army or did Google militarize? Uh, is there any difference between the Nazi army <laughs> and Google? <laughs> I mean, more they colorful. seem to be operating by more or less the same playbook. Can't like you with that. Uh, it's only a matter of time before Google invades right. Russia. Uh, Hollow box shot. The Nazi swastika is tilted. Also, Arch, I caught up on this siege of Rex. Want to say that it was amazing. Also, Horus Heresy is badly written. Ah, oh, it's not that bad. It's okay. Uh, Gabriel Evans, I have won two AA turrets, one for each arm. Arch, that is in masquerade violation for sure. To be fair, maybe you could get anti aircraft uh, guns. That'd be useful. Loud, but useful. Uh, Theoden. Uraj, do any of you know about Tabletop Eon? No. Any of you guys? Is it is it like Tabletop Simulator? Uh, uh, tabletop Eon. Google gives me a tablet thingy. Kickstarter launch for tablet video game Eon. Yeah, no, I've, I've never really heard of this. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Hmm. Maybe I'll look at it afterward. Um, son of Angron, Arch, since my military history, uh, history major student, I'd recommend Omar Bato's barber, barbarization of warfare. If you want more detail, needs in front. Ooh, I might, I might try and get a hold of that. I've already read a fair few books on the Eastern Front, but most of them have been uh, uh, memoirs from the German side. Uh, the Russians didn't write a whole lot of books about that war for some reason, possibly because not a whole of them. You know, survived, and possibly because a whole lot of them got shot afterwards by their comrades. Who knows? A Beru twenty three ten. Why on earth does people not have the books open? Good question. Well, we, we did after we did after a short while. We all we all got the PDF. To be fair, like this RP really has a lot of just dense shit, so having it open is probably a good idea. I hate the I hate having to absorb information by just a colossally long list with three columns per page. Yeah, I it's, know. It's almost the worst format for this kind of information. Yeah, V5 is not greatly written, sadly, but eh. It'd be great if we could find a wiki that lined up with the book. Maybe there is. Uh, cross 7. Late to the party. What's up? We are playing Nazi vampires because why not? What what could what could cause less trouble in this current day and age? <laughs> Literally on Google's platform. <laughs> I hope that Google's their oppression of vampires won't eventually rub on our, on our campaign. Because whenever anyone has a problem with our campaign, we'll just accuse them of vampire bigotry. Mm -hmm. Indeed, basically racism. That really is. Suit school. Well, well, well. If it is my favorite N word, massive gypsy and boomer. Also, why do we have to say N word instead of Norwegian? It's not like Norwegians are Swedish. <laughs> I agree. Wow, that was spicy. Uh, Beowulf. How do you know if you use hunger dice? So apparently, in five v five, it you get hunger from being badly wounded. I think failing rouse checks give you hunger. Uh, I think using some disciplines might also do it. Mm. Hmm. Arcade Outpost. My name is Carl Benjamin, and I watch the kill stream weeknights on Deal Live at 9.30 p.m. EST. Is that still a thing? Is that 
still going. The kill stream? Yeah. I don't know. They're now blood sports. Where are they now? <laughs> Either dead, in prison, or completely uh, vagranted. They're, they're, they're just decomposing somewhere. Last mm -hmm. I heard, Ralph Ralph was actually doing pills on his stream. <laughs> oh, okay. I think, um, that's not good. I think the, not the, uh, the socialist, the communist that we didn't manage to capture is probably doing better than they are. Well, uh, shit, I, I guess we were lucky to be the uh, the uncool losers in that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the DCV Titan, it'll be hilarious if Sargon came back right now. Oh, just wanders in there. Hey, yeah, Sargon, we've captured all of them, it's fine. Oh, there's one bleeding outside, don't worry about that. And yeah, he's been shot a few times. When he sent that super chat, it was um, at the maximum height of the chaos before anything went right. <laughs> To be fair, like you guys pulled that off fairly well. Um, everything considered, that was fairly well done. It it was tipping between fairly well done and disastrous, <laughs> but still, I think it came down on the right side. It's a nice I thing think thing even though said. even though today uh, V's approach didn't do that much to help, I think it is very powerful, and at some point it will. Um, it will dramatically help. And we had, I mean, we just had decent basic. Firearm tactics, Rags and I. We were in a good position. The enemy was distracted. It was all chaotic. If anything, if anything, V created some chaos. So well, that probably know, helped. Making use of chaos is a vital task mm. during war. Chaos. Perhaps V, since Arch seems a little a little less uh, permissive than Sargon, you could be a little less crazy, just a little, so that we can what actually survive less, and win. Less permissive. I was nice. It made sense. Um, Creedal, where's that lazy boomer? Well, I don't know. He might have killed himself with tea. I don't know. Possible. Uh, did you see the message? Things. I did not. He left. Okay. He he just had something IRL that he had to go deal with right away. Okay. So his tea plants became sentient and launched a revolt. <laughs> had to be put down. Seems more likely. It but sounds whatever it awful. was, it took him like a long time. This is what happens when you start putting leaves in your water. Indeed. Fucking ridiculous idea. Oh. Maniki Neko. Oh no, the war won't end that quickly, Rags. Arch, send them next to China. Maybe. Maybe I should send you to China. That'd be fun. Maybe I'll just retire. <laughs> Nordic Kiwi. Arch could, you, Arch, could you hurry up and finish Rack soon and get subscribe stuff? Very soon now. We're actually getting close, finally. And finally, Creedle, and they all laughed because I still use AOL and Yahoo Mail. Who's laughing now? <laughs> MSN <laughs> chat. <laughs> I still use Hotmail. Well, oh, you've gone for long-term suffering uh, Weird flex, without an right. end. Because Google does actually make good software. They just don't make good ethics. <laughs> well, uh, kind of like the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Nazis were really good software developers or something else. I mean, you could say that for them at least. No, I mean they they took what? you to the moon, so there you go. Well, they took us to the moon in, in the moon in Wolfenstein. In no, 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 no. Uh, Van der von Braun. A lot of the rocket scientists started working for NASA. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then that's that's a yeah. fair comment. Like, what's that? You can build us rockets. Pardoned. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you terror bombed London for a few days, but who the <laughs> fuck actually likes the British anyways? I'm the only Brit here, I have to defend myself. Well, actually, right now, I don't really feel like defending the country. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, he's it just effect. My patriotism is being tested on the daily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Look, th th there's, there's a kernel of Britishness that is worth defending. The rest of it, I'm fucking 50-50 on. Right. Well, um, thank you all very much, sir, for watching, and thank you guys for playing, and we will be around next week. Until then, have a good day. Two